Welcome. It is Abarax's Precipice, year two, Yay. episode 16, where we are celebrating one year. One oh, year. Oh my God, boy. Like, it's actually two more days, but like it would be Friday, but like, it's, you know, one year of doing this thing, which is wild. Like, we actually lasted. Like, we were just talking about how, like, how'd you do how it happened? And the answer is, I don't know. What happened. Oh, we have uh, no idea. Um, <laughs> Uh, Mike was talking about how Wednesday night is early dinner night. Uh, <laughs> I grab a sandwich, so it, it, that's, that's pretty good. You know, I, I can uh, I can see how that's all working out for us and such. But um, thank you for joining us. Uh, we have a, we have a very special show tonight. Uh, as you can see, we have a guest. Our guest is one Sam Osina, who yeah. you remember play, plays Jackrabbit, still plays them. Yeah. Okay. People should know that John was like, "Can I kill Jack Rabbit off when you're trying to leave?" And I was like, "No way, man! Like, he's well, gonna I come say, back. Try to he's kill. gonna I, come back." Mm -hmm. I'll be very clear mm -hmm. with you, my, my players and everyone there at home has ever hired me as a dungeon master. I don't try to kill players. I just do uh -huh. it. Yeah, yeah. Do ask Onyx, man. Onyx, yeah. <laughs> well, was, well, actually, I didn't kill you off. That was uh, Jack Rabbit. But we'll go. We'll, 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 we'll work with that trauma in a moment. Um, so uh, oh. hopping along here. Uh, we have, uh, we are, we play, we play the expansive role playing game by Green Run Publishing. Um, we have a big giveaway tonight. We have triple giveaways tonight. Uh, we are giving away three things. Uh, number one is a, our big prize tonight is a VIP pass to OrcaCon 2023. Uh, that happens up in Washington, just outside of Seattle, I believe. And, yep. uh, Donna, Donna, our, our good friend Donna here runs that. Uh, do you have anything you want to say about it, Donna? Um, it's really cool. It's cozy and it's welcoming and we play lots of games and eat delicious food from food trucks. So come play games with us. Very cool. And then um, our second play, our second prize we have is a hundred dollar gift certificate to Cauldron Tower, my shop. So I'll put that up. You can buy almost everything with that. Maybe you can buy some for your friends, whatever it is. Uh, but you can have a blast with that. And then our third thing we're giving away tonight, and we're going to have three separate winners, uh, one for each of the things. Uh, is courtesy of our sponsor, our new sponsor, Stonehaven Miniatures. They have given me this cool package to give away. So it is, um, you're gonna get three little min pewter miniatures from them. You're gonna get a set of dice like on the camera. And then you're gonna get this really cool, uh, they just started carrying these, these foldable magnetic dice trays, like felt. Um, so you can bring your dice with you to uh, whatever your favorite convention is, such as OrcaCon. Because uh, I, I believe that most most gaming conventions will allow you to use dice trays. Um, they haven't banned them yet. Uh, <laughs> um, and then uh, once again, as we've been doing, I guess almost for a year now, to be honest, um, if we hit our sub goal, which I know is very high of 100, uh, we will be giving out to one of our, our top winners tonight a copy of the Expanse board game by WizKids. I've been holding on to this for a year. Help me give it away. Uh, we're at a pretty good number of uh, subs right now, but uh, if we can get a big number, we'll definitely give that out to someone. Uh, would deeply appreciate it and have fun with it. Okay. Uh, any other announcements, man? Oh, oh, the big announcement. Shit. I forgot about the big announcement. Working on, I've been working on this for about like almost a month now, um, and this just kind of came. Uh, I, I actually, I actually literally just finished doing all this stuff today. But if you are inclined to enjoy Abrax Precipice in only audio form, uh, we were putting up the podcast version on the Patreon, but we decided to be go legitimate with it, and you can now listen to Abrax Precipice on your favorite podcast podcast platform. Um, nice. Where we just got on Google Podcasts, we're on Apple po uh, Apple Music. I think it is. Um, we're on uh, Spotify, Pandora, whatever you're into. Uh, for some reason, uh, there's someone in the UK that really likes Samsung podcast app and likes our show. And I, whoever you are, thank you. I, the, whenever, when I told the crew that, the reaction was, Samsung has a podcast app? Um, <laughs> but, but, hey, you know what? If, if you're listening to it, you're listening to it. So please, um, we'll put that link up on our Twitter. It's gonna go up in a few minutes, actually. Uh, and it should be up on our link tree. But all the episodes are up there, um, and you can check them out and listen to them in your own uh, your own accord, however you want to. Like literally, you could listen to them in your accord. If you have a Honda Accord, uh, that could be a great place to listen. Do we have an AM station yet? I'm just kidding. I, do you want me, I can downmix them. There you go. I can downmix them to AM quality. If you want Why to. not? 
Uh, I've gotten pretty good at doing. Uh, yeah, tune uh, in on your uh, blaster and your radio. <laughs> you, got, you got to run on a tape deck in your back, uh, yeah. broadcasting to your tape. Yeah, we we went to high school at the same time. Yeah, I know about that trick. Uh, <laughs> all right, man. All right, we're gonna do the opening. Then we're gonna start playing Abrax Express Precipice. Uh, thank you, everyone. Uh, we'll be right back after the opening. back Abrax Precipice. The uh, Sinclair has engaged in some operations as of recent and has returned home to its home station series where you were instructed to wait in dock not to disembark the ship until you were to be greeted by a uh, elected emissary of one Governor Anderson Dawes. Myrtle, when you turned on the cam for the airlock, see a uh, top of someone's head with two bulging goggles sticking up that then turns up to the camera a gleam and you recognize your old friend one jackrabbit de leon what's up coyos that's what i'm saying oh, open up here. man i will open up readily okay the airlock opens up three stations opens up no problem and uh, Jack Rabbit, you see the, the Sinclair's uh, cargo bay, uh, where you see a few, you see uh, some people you recognize, some people you don't. Uh, you recognize Waxor, uh, you recognize uh, a few of these, the belters in here you think you remember from Ganymede. Uh, one of them you remember because he was the one you rescued uh, who lost his leg, I believe it was, uh, mm -hmm. McMichaels. Um, and so they kind of see you as they're, they're in their Does own. Does McMichaels have a fake leg or is he, he still does. got no leg? He has a prosthetic, okay. yeah. Yeah, he has a cybernetic leg. And he, um, you can't really see it under his, like, you know, his boots and his clothing, but yeah, uh, walking around, that they regrew it. And he, uh, you see him standing there smoking a joint. And he sees you coming in and he goes, Oh, yeah, this one. Yeah, it's good, man. Good. You got well, a leg again, man. That's cool. That's kind cool, of man. At, he, he lifts it up and taps on it a little bit. Yeah, I was doing the trick. It's a little, uh, it feels like it loosens up around about uh, 0.8 Gs. I feel like it loosening up a little bit, but uh, it, it's the trick. You know, it hasn't fallen off yet. Uh, that's where he hides all his weed, man. <laughs> and, you kind of, and you see, like, waxers in there. Uh, one of the builders you worked with on Ganymede to help oh, rescue hey. the rifles. Hey. Uh, what are your name again? Uh, Some. Wha Waxer. Waxer, yeah. What's up, Waxer? You look, you look good. Things good. I just have to ask, John. What's the condition of the ship? Does it look like it's been through some stuff? Like, um, is it like in a bad condition? Or? No, it's actually, <laughs> it's, it's actually in good shape. I mean, it smells. It smells like pot in here. 
uh, the cargo bay definitely smells like pot. And you can hear the air cycle is running pretty hard, but like, um, the, uh, I mean, you see there's like, there's like, it's, it's more crude than it ever was when, when you were using it. Um, and they actually, the, the guys like take care of it and scrub it down and, and keep it pretty clean. Um, as far as the mechanics of it, uh, you'd have to look closer, but you're, and you're only in the cargo bay. You're not like in, mm -hmm. you can see where the, tor the torpedo tubes are, but they're, uh, <laughs> kind of concealed back there a little bit. Okay. Yeah. Don't ask about the core. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Okay. Um, uh, where and, is uh where where the is the Myrtle still with his ship? Yeah, yeah, yeah. You look about the captain. Captain's upstairs, and he kind of, or up up top. Uh, she fly the thing now. I'm gonna yeah, come okay. running down. Okay. As, well, not running, but I'm gonna Wyatt. move myself down, slide as much as I can, calling uh, Wyatt. Hey, Wyatt, come come meet our guest. Meanwhile, I'm gonna step forward and extend my way. hand. <laughs> So and uh, meet this guest. Three three people come down from the where the uh, the mess hall and ops are and the the uh, crew quarters are, and you see um, Wyatt. You recognize um, Myrtle and another Belter uh, with purple hair uh, and some and some clearly clearly ta clear tattoos uh, come on down, um, and uh, they all seem eager to meet you uh, and greet you. I'm not sure how you're going to greet Jack Rabbit. I hear a handshake. I uh, well, well, if if if, if the if uh, these other two are coming in much more quickly, I'll like <laughs> I'll take. I still know who's there, back. so I'm taking my time. Yeah, Myrtle is okay. first in the pool, so. Uh, I yeah. think when I see, Wee! yeah, and I'd be like, "What up? Who, who the hell are you, man? You don't look like the metal I left behind. Your hair looks so cool. Like, when you oh, wearing yeah, my yeah. style now? Like, what's up? <laughs> you know, I'm leaving the earth behind. You know." I've been using all the stuff you taught me. You know, I missed you. I missed you. Yeah, yeah. And I mean, I would go in for for the hug on, oh, yeah. on Myrtle. Yeah. I'm actually going to step over to Waxer and just like tap his shoulder and say, who's this? <laughs> yeah, yeah. I think an old crew member. Yeah, I always hear uh, XO talk about her, yeah? Hey, McMichaels, put that joint out. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Cap's here. Yeah, yeah and, and I would kind of lean into to, uh, to Myrtle and say, uh, uh, I hear they me you captain now. They calling you captain, huh? Like yeah, somebody yeah, finally yeah. got in charge of this hunk of, hunk of junk that looks kind of good. Except, man, were you letting this place go to shit? You let that guy smoke that stuff when he worked down here, man? Is that is that the way it go? Even and I you, didn't do you, that you, stuff. You hear <laughs> Michael? You hear Michael take a drag off his off his joint and he, and he goes, uh, "The XO told me I should." <laughs> it cut it's cut of the leg thing okay i get it that makes sense uh, yeah that's what i told him it was medicinal <laughs> yeah it's part of the recovery process for the next you know six years yeah well we're, we're just sitting here so i don't mind it as much if we're just hanging but uh you know maybe somebody should keep it smoking down a little bit because you know we still have to worry about the vents and stuff um <clears throat> as i, I kind of look over there and he puts it out yeah, you yeah. hit the boss lit. Hey, I was like, come out. on. But yeah, so Zanny and Waxer, like, I mean, Waxer, you met you met uh, Jackrabbit back on uh, on Ganymede. Uh, you guys were there when the mirrors fell. Mm -hmm. uh, but Zanny, this is like like the shortest belter you've ever seen. Like, you thought this was a child <laughs> when they first walked the, in. The comparison between Waxer and Jackrabbit is just astounding. <laughs> yeah, yeah. So like, because Jackrabbit's like four foot ten, I think like that mm, yeah love and, that. and so there's like um you can see the elongation that happens but like you're like some it's just it's weird to see a belter that like that uh little um that's an adult but it, you know here 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 it is uh and then waxer who's like yeah who's like you know you know seven feet and just you know huge yeah yeah I'll, I'll, I'll tell Zenny like uh yeah she was she was with this crew when the uh the mirrors fell down again me when i was there they came through uh... With my arm around, uh, with my arm around Jack Rabbit, I'm gonna say, Zanny Waxer, this is who taught me everything I know about piloting. Hey, okay. okay. <laughs> wait, wait, wait a minute though. Is she been flying this this thing good or? Oh yeah, yeah. I mean, I mean she kept us alive. Actually, she did okay. fly it real good. Yeah, boss. Okay, then yeah, boss, yeah I she flew good when it counted for sure, yeah. for sure. Yeah, and then yeah. one, of the, one of the crewmates, uh, Drax, there goes. He's like, wait a minute, Mer I, Merle, you you told us you were in the Navy. Like, and you learned everything to fly from, 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 from her? 
Uh, yeah. Wait, what I, is that supposed to mean, man? Oh, I'll I slide thought, I thought down you were going to fly in the Navy. <laughs> well, I I'll was in the Navy, down but now I didn't, like, you know. Okay. I'll slide oh. down now while you guys are talking about the, the flying part, and I'll be like, it's because Jackrab is the best damn pilot that this ship will ever see. No yes. offense, Myrtle. Oh, no, no, me. no. Jackrabbit is the best. Yeah. And I would I would I'd do one of those like hands on the hips things yeah. at Wyatt, like like a kind of like a like just a look you know, like a kind of <laughs> look. What what are you you didn't get shot lately, man. You look like you're healthy and stuff. You finally learn you learn to keep yourself keep your head down a little bit. Yeah, I'm still um, Waxer's just a bigger target right now. I just stay behind him. Oh yeah. I mean <laughs> Not a bad thing. It, it better better know how to how to get through it, man. I, no no offense to to you uh you Innes, but uh, we just yeah. learn it a little different. Yeah, Innes well, softer inside, yeah. Yeah, I <laughs> think so. Yeah. And and really, most of the shooting that has been at us has been while we're on the ship. So yeah, yeah. Here and there. Yeah, one of the one of the crew speaks up. Uh, you know, yeah, yeah. Captain saw us through a, a firefight. A lot, we got in a live firefight. We tangled with some pirates, and we got away with uh, no holes in the hole. It was good. Yeah, I just stayed cool like the jackrabbit. Say, what would jackrabbit do? And was able to be successful and got us out of there. And we couldn't have done it if we hadn't been working together as a team. So, oh, man. it's just some good folks here. There's a lot of people here. And also, you talking about teams and stuff. You all have changed since I've been gone. We never talk about teams like that then, yeah? Well, we, well, it's more of our family. You know? You're still family. I know you've been out doing stuff, but you're still our family. We just kind of have to keep some of these guys... Uh, some of these guys need a little bit of structure. <laughs> more than yeah. others. Like pointing at McMichaels. Yeah, McMichaels is a little, a little <laughs> card. Hey, yeah, he, he's comes like, through. he comes through what? when he's here. Yeah, he's like... <laughs> oh. <laughs> um, yeah, they they're all kind of sitting. They're all kind of standing there, like, yeah, yeah. It's it's a, it's a family, but it pays well too. <laughs> like, you know, yeah, we all we yeah. all we all uh, uh, Cooper's payroll. <laughs> yeah. Shit. Let's uh, let's head on up to the galley and uh, get some coffee or something a little stronger, and um, and we'll have a chat. Yeah, I mean, I got things to talk to you all about. That's why I'm here too. So, you know. Yeah. Big Michaels and then uh, Yuri and Jay and, and uh, Drax kind of sit there and they go, hey, uh, Captain, man, you, uh, or X, they go to XO. Hey, XO. Uh, you, and you see, uh, Jack, you see them addressing Wyatt as XO, executive officer. I'll just point. Yeah, yeah. And they go, uh, yeah, hey, um, it'd be cool if, if we if we go off and uh, do some stuff on the station, man, like get some business done, you know. Uh, yeah, just uh, stay out of trouble. No, no, no problem. I'm, we, <laughs> Go off for a little bit though, and uh, some of this money we earned from uh, dropping off Earthers. So uh, we go spend it. Yeah, go. All right, fine. Cool, All right, cool. And they go out, and uh, uh, Drax kind of like looks to Zen. He goes, "Hey, he's like, hey, um, uh, just I'm gonna go check on uh, you know, my uh, parents and everything. Uh, why don't uh, I don't know how I'm, how I'm alive? <laughs> if I wonder where I've been for a few weeks." Uh, but uh, why don't we uh, just just hit me up whenever you, whenever you get done with your your business with the captain XO, uh, yeah. your, your guest, all right? Yeah, yeah. yeah. All right, cool, yeah. cool. And he, he kind of goes off, and Mick Michaels kind of slaps on the back. He goes, hey, and he kind of looks at Wax on the way out. He's like, hey, later, man. Uh, I, I fix his hair. <laughs> Waxer like licks his thumb and fixes his hair. <laughs> <laughs> uh, I'll turn to uh, to Jack Rabbit, and at this point, we'll we'll uh, hold out a hand and uh, say, uh, hey, Jack Rabbit, I've heard a lot about you. Uh, these people won't stop talking about you. Oh, uh, yeah. I mean, I don't know what kind of things they tell you. It may be mostly not true, I think, I think, I think probably. Uh, I think most of it is, most of it is good things, I think. <laughs> yeah. Uh, uh, I'm Zenny. You can call me Zenny. Oh, yeah. Good to meet you. Uh, how long you been on the ship? <sighs> I've been on the ship. About two months? Three months, maybe? Two, three months or so? You got a fancy title like these two? Two over here, you know, Captain, Nexo, nah. <laughs> all these fancy things. Nah, nah, they uh, they here with the they can they. This is their shit. This they get the fancy titles for it. I'm, I'm just here. 
on the way out, you see Nick Michaels, the last one to come on. He looks at you, Jack Rabbit, and he goes, he's like, yeah. He's like, the end is trying to, he's like, it's pretty funny, man. The end is they try to go get us on the ship and no one, the captain. I was, and, we were, and I was like, yo, I'm not, I'm not flying on no ship with no captain. Nothing personal. No. You all have fun. And he like, walks off outside the airlock. <laughs> mm-hmm. <laughs> Yeah, we have so many stories to share. And they're all about yeah. Michaels. <laughs> yeah, I've, been, I've been hearing about some stories about all of you, man. You make some enemies fast. I mean, I thought that was just from when I was with you, but I see you keep it on going, huh? Yeah, we do a good, we do, um, yeah, a little bit. <laughs> uh, but we've got new friends, too. Oh, yeah, that's yeah. good. You know, that's we've been good. really, you know, with Ganymede and helping out you know, helping the people out there and helping the people in series. And so we've done a lot of good work out here too. And then um, people are trying to make sure that everybody here is healthy and safe as you can be while you're in space. You know, I just want to take care of everybody. You know that. Yeah. I mean, I just, I heard about the Naros team. I heard he's not not too happy, man. That's not a good enemy to make. You've got to make better better and newer friends just to make up for that one enemy, you know? Yeah, I mean, he's, you know, he's like, blah, 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 blah. Uh, you know, there's 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 nothing behind it. It's just words. He sounds like, you know, sometimes he, he reminds me of some of the politicians on Earth. It's just talk, 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 talk. And never really making any, you know, never creating anything good. Well, speaking of talk, 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 I mean, let, let's go get that drink and uh, I'll call some, some things. Yeah. All right. Sounds good. You guys all convene in the mess hall. Uh, if you want to get something special out, Myrtle, I mean, you got like a, you have the captain stash here. You get a bottle of yeah. whatever is good. I'm going to bring out a nice bottle of the captain stash. Okay. Bring out the captain stash. Uh, it's, a, it's a nice uh, gin. Nice. Gin and chocolates. Yeah. Gin and chocolates. Mm-hmm. You got it. <laughs> that's what the cap, you know, that's what the cap is. I, I so gotta, good right I, now, I, though. I really don't want to throw up on camera, guys. <laughs> <laughs> that, that's, that's rough to hear, man. Gin, gin and chocolate. Oh, yeah, that's rough. Oh, my that's, goodness. I, I would go for some gin and chocolate right now, though. Yeah, okay. If it's milk chocolate, I'd be way out. If dark chocolate, I could do. Dark chocolate, yeah. yeah dark chocolate. That's okay. the way to go. There we go. Okay. There, I'll accept that then. <laughs> okay. So, yeah, you bust out this, bust out a nice bottle, of, uh, one of your last bottles of gin you have from Ganymede. Uh, you got some cups ready to go. Uh, it ain't fancy looking, but it'll do the trick. Yep. Get that out. Get some of the little chocolates out. Just say, hey, look, see, some of the here's some of the newer designs that I made, you know, before we got really busy. Oh, man. I haven't had any of these chocolate, not, not since I saw you last. You still got your slippers? You know, I don't anymore, man. I, I lost lots of the stuff that I cared, didn't. Sometimes you just gotta leave the things behind as you go, you know? It's been a kind of different life since I left here. Not, not, I don't nobody know where to put the slippers, know where to put, you know, any of the stuff. What you got is what you wear. Back to yeah. those kinds of days. I hear you. I hear you. I know. Just yeah. kind of avoiding the whole, you know, like yeah, well, things that happened. It's like, I don't want to really get into it with what uh. she's gone off to do. <laughs> But just, I understand that things have not been, you know, things are dicey out there yeah. in space. Yeah, how, how'd you end up in Ceres Station and working for Dawes? I, mean, I just started to say from the corner. I just come, you know, go here, go there, see what kind of things, you know, what kind of work. Oh, sometimes, I mean, some being around all you Koyos, it, did, it didn't do me any good. Sometimes I want to ask what kind of help they want. Like, what kind of thing is that? I never used to do those things until I'm around you people. But sometimes that happened. But, uh, I mean, and I'm, you'll notice I get a little thing. Like, I kind of like, I'm looking toward these two that I don't know so well. Yeah. You know, and I just, and I'm kind of giving the like look to you all like, can I, is it okay to talk? in front of these two about about some things yeah yeah they're they're part, they're part of our new family it's all good but if you I feel guess, comfortable you can you know we can certainly have a conversation later with Wyatt you and I 
Yeah, no, I could go. I could go range stuff in the dark. Hey, no, no. no it, it, if they say if they say you are right, you are right with me. You know that that's not my place. This this your own little crew family thing. You know, I just I, I'm coming into your house now. Except that's still my seat up there, Meadow. It you is know, still the, your seat. That's still your mine. Still You're just it. keeping it warm. I am. Yeah. Uh, is that? I I got kind of some funny questions. I mean. And I'm, I'm gonna like kind of slide over, you know, from the thing. Like, yeah, okay. And you have um, a screen, or you can put it on. The, you can either put it to their data pads, or you can put it on the screen. I'm, I'm gonna put it to uh, Myrtle's data okay. pad. All right, Myrtle, you get a little thing. And what is this thing uh, she gets? Uh, the thing that she gets is this like listing of a ship for sale. Okay. So, um, so I'll describe the listing. Yeah, please. Myrtle, you you come up, and it's like it's like a local forum, like kind of like we call it series list. Um, <laughs> and uh, it's like a listing of items and are kind of like talking about selling things and there is you're looking at a listing that is pretty much you're pretty sure I, I, it's identical to the Sinclair uh, and it's more of someone asking how much is a ship like this worth so uh, you know you know how I do like I go I just looking around on things every now and again I check up on on you all make sure you're not dead mostly you why and I just I, I sometimes I just don't know I think about it a lot and and I kind of found that and I I mean is are you all doing okay I'm gonna look over at Wyatt say you know um I knew Mars was gonna bite us in the butt on this one someday Someday. Does it say who posted it? It can. It, it looks like it's someone from Ceres selling basically the Sinclair on Ceres. Um, uh, you you look at the username though, Myrtle, and you recognize it as one of your wife's usernames that she uses commonly. So it looks like Mella is trying to get an idea of how much the Sinclair is worth and who would buy it. Right. Okay, Wyatt, maybe I was thinking too fast because, you know, the, that, that religious guy and his brother and that whole drama. Yeah, like, like for, for once, it's not the Baptist fault. Right. <laughs> right? I'm like, weird. Okay. Uh, Might be a good idea to maybe talk to your wife. Yeah, I'm, I'm going to show it to Wyatt so he can see it and just like, yeah, oh. I, 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 yeah. Danny, give me a scene. Give me a scene test. Let me see if you can pick this up with your your inspector eyes because you are. This is what you do. That's true. I snoop it. You snoop. <laughs> We're gonna show you your name tag on here, the professional snooper. <laughs> yeah. Uh, it's uh, twelve. Well, I and mean, they're not trying to hide it too well. And you kind of catch a glimpse. It looks like a listing for like basically the Sinclair. Uh, for mm -hmm. sale on like the local series. And you've seen these. You've seen these forms. I mean, a million times growing up. No, you probably used them to sell something you found or, you know, whatever. Mm -hmm. um, but, uh, yeah, it looks like a, a listing for the Sinclair. Or, like, a potential listing, like, someone basically asking how much is going to buy this. Yeah. Is this why you come back, Jack Rabbit? You come buy our ship? Nah, man. Nah, it's not even like that. Uh, I, I mean, I keep my distance on purpose because I just, I know what you all do in what I do in sometimes they in different kinds of places you know but what are you doing because uh, last I heard last I heard you you abandoned this uh this here ship you left you yeah. went to go do OPA stuff I, yeah I heard you did the extremist stuff yeah I yeah. think it's funny that that I just met you man but uh <laughs> I know who you are. I don't think I'm not watching. You know, you're making oh, big you know deal about it. You know, you know who I am. Yeah, I mean, I don't know. They know about your pants and what they've been doing. I mean, you're talking to me like I'm an extremist. I just doing better, louder things. You know. I mean, I don't know that. I don't know that. I just know you left. I like look yeah, at Zenny. I look at Zenny all of a sudden like I, like what? Like what's on? <laughs> what? Yeah, I mean, I, 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 hey man, I don't, I don't, I don't mean no disrespect, man. I just, uh, I, I had my reasons for leaving. They were, they were big reasons. They were my reasons, and I, I keep them. You know, there, there were some hard things that happened on this ship, and I just didn't know who I was. I don't, 
it didn't le- didn't help to leave a little bit, but it felt like I needed to do something. Uh, world was changing. I mean, look around; it's a different kind of place than than the the one that we lived in before. I mean, uh, it's still a good ship. Uh, I don't know. So Anderson does. He called me. That's that's why I'm here. I mean, I, I would have come to see you uh, myself, but uh, I mean, if you sell in the ship, he looking to buy it. Uh, but but hang on a minute. I mean, he it doesn't mean you all out of a gig here. He he pay you to do what you're doing, but the ship be part of OPA Navy. All right, so this is the first time you guys have kind of heard murmurs about OPA Navy being a thing potentially. Uh, there was some like like uh, rumors or something like that. But here's someone who's actually telling you that like OPA Navy is real. Um, yeah. In the Navy. <laughs> it don't, it don't look, you know, just because it OPA, OPA always have that, uh, what do you call it? Like people always say that they just ragtag group, don't have no organization, who don't ter- terrorist things, you know? But uh, now they they shaping up, they turning into something real. Better louder. We we make a place on this on this uh, system here. I'm about to say planet as if I've been on a planet. <laughs> oh, it, it is planet. Yeah, I mean, yeah, yeah I heard Dawes taking care of series station pretty good, but uh, yeah, I just worried about the other OPA stuff. But hmm. okay, okay. What are you feeling about OPA? these days changing much i mean you know it's been good for us over here you know working for dawes yeah um you know there's i mean there's still pirates out there so are you are you saying that that some of the pirates are trying to work together or make a navy that's what they're doing yeah i mean you can only, uh, but allow they gotta bend together. I think the end is they be worried that this happened for, for my whole lifetime at least, and it's it's starting to happen. I I mean we've been I feel like I've been waiting for this day for a long time, and we're seeing it. I mean that's what I've been doing. I've been just trying to find a way in on on whatever this this new version of but allow is. And what's the navy gonna do? This uh, OPA navy. What's what's uh, Dawes's uh mission to to protect belters or to attack attack inners uh, he don't tell me those things you know but what any navy do anyway i don't know they just fly around <laughs> yeah. looking all tough and stuff right yeah oh uh, yeah kind of <laughs> <laughs> most of the time you know i mean you know i mean i don't i don't blame you know the I don't blame the OPA or, or whoever is trying to form. Although it seems really weird that Dawes would form an army. He didn't seem like he was really interested in anything outside of series. But who knows? You know, maybe there's something going on we don't know about. But I don't blame anybody for feeling that way because it's not like, you know, Earth and Mars navies are treating the belt very well and have it. Ever, yeah. you know, so it's it wouldn't be surprised if people started organizing, but I would be very cautious about who might be involved. Um, we're gonna roll a roll a current affairs check. Mm. Actually, and so can uh, we'll give the military people uh, also uh, uh, Wyatt, you can too. Current affairs. Seventeen. 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 Wow. Okay. Woo! Uh, so you guys are both kind of thinking <laughs> about it, and you're realizing that, like, with the the Martians and the Earthers, like, basically fighting each other, this would be the opportunity to unite and to put together, especially yeah. with like the last thing. So, like, um, and it isn't so much. It doesn't. You're not. It doesn't sound like Dawes is trying to lead it. Like he's still on. He's still on series. He's not out there trying to like play commander. But, I mean, you guys worked for Tycho Station while Fred Johnson was off doing something. Fred Johnson's a military, you know, hero. Uh, he, would, he would know how to do this kind of stuff. I mean, the story's... The, the story, like, works. Like, it sounds plausible. As far as what the Navy would look like, that's a different story, but whether right. or not they could actually be doing it, all the, all the things line up. 
Yeah, I mean, it's, it's good to, to unify the belters. Maybe that keep the extreme belters on the fringe, yeah? And, yeah. Uh, so I, I'm okay with that. Come to think yeah, about except it. if you have the extreme belters on the edge, and you have this navy, and the extreme belters don't want to be part of the navy, then don't you have belters fighting belters? And isn't that what we're trying to avoid? Man, Bel belters always be fighting belters and whatever it is, this this at least something. Right, but now we're gonna be also fighting inners. How many yeah. belters gonna die though? Belters always be dying. That's that's my life anyway. Yeah, always what if, dying. What if the extreme belters they be attacking the inner navies and they think it's the OPA navy? Yeah, but uh, I guess we gotta have some type of protection though. Uh, uh. Background, you can roll a um, either ta like intelligence test, tactics, or current affairs that can give you the perspective on what the OPA Navy mm. wants to do with regards to the topic at hand. So curious. Um, <laughs> that's a fifteen. Okay. So basically, the the OPA Navy, the the Belters would rather have the OPA Navy police their own extremists than right. have the Inners do it. Right. Yeah, yeah. That's okay. the premise is like, okay, like you're right, these guys are like like these guys are bad and they're doing bad stuff. We're gonna take care of it and that's our guarantee to you to show that we're of good faith. Yeah, we take care of our own. Yeah, we'll we'll I mean, yeah. And we'll yeah, extradite and I, extradite if needed or something. And then I think what I would say with that knowledge in my head is I would say like, you know, uh hey Zenny, right? Zenny? Mm hmm Where you grow up. I grew up here on Ceres. Yeah, I grew up on Aero Station, and it it in the it in the outskirts before when it was still out there, you know. And uh, one thing I know is whenever bad things happen, and a belter was the one who catched the belter, that belter they they come out okay. When the bad thing happened, and it an inner that catch that belter doing the bad thing, they don't always come out okay. So I feel like belters. Doing belted things, taking care of belted stuff. Uh, you any? Uh, are you two actually? You ever heard of a uh, Ashford? Klaus Ashford. He he had that major pirate out 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 in the sea. Maybe you heard about him. Mm. Uh, yeah. uh, you can roll a uh, once again a current affairs check or history check if you want. Yeah, to yeah I, I heard nothing. But, nothing but, yeah. but I but I, mean, I do I do agree with you know like uh, yeah I mean I was captured by by Dustas and, and uh, treated bad by Dustas and extreme Belters, but yeah, I mean, as I'd rather handle our own belted the belt of business versus having the inners come and do take us and do stuff, yeah? Uh, and then Myrtle and uh, Wyatt. Uh, uh, Wyatt, make a self-control chest. Willpower, yeah, self-control or self-discipline, and then Myrtle, yeah, make one of those two. 14. 14, okay. Uh, he's what is that? Up. Nothing to willpower, self-discipline. Seven, ten. Okay. Yeah, when you mention Klaus Ashford's name, uh, you see Myrtle kind of like perk up a little bit and there's definitely a sense of like, a little sense of fear uh, mentioning the, the ghost knife of Callisto. Uh, Klaus Ashford being a renowned pirate that successfully stole repeatedly from directly from the Martians and even the UNNN uh, and is just elusive and that even the idea that he's still alive is shocking but if he's going to be leading this Navy I mean that's no one that's not a slouch they, they're put in, in the, the Admiral's chair uh, I want to look at Wyatt and see what his reaction is there I've kept my mouth shut this whole time I don't I look lost in thought in a way I'm just like processing everything so Take that as you will. <laughs> I'm not saying much, just kind of sitting back. Yeah, I should also mention, uh, and actually, uh, you would know Ashford pretty, his name pretty well, uh, Myrtle, because one of the things about him was that he was actually educated on Luna uh, when he was younger in like advanced mathematics and stuff like that too. So like, and he apparently leveraged that knowledge into figuring out how to be a very good pirate base. Um, so this guy is like genius level, like, Tactician and uh, knows how to use orbital mechanics for his advantage quite well. This is uh, if they have him leading and he's and he's on board, they got a shot at this, a really good shot. Well, um, that's interesting. Um, wow, a lot of interesting 
things happening today. All right. Well, I mean, I could see success with Ashford, but only on a, well, kind of on a surface level because I don't ever hear him being uh, charismatic enough to be a leader. I mean, maybe he's changed in all maybe these years. Maybe that's where DOS comes in. It, it could be, or will be, is that you need a face who's seen as somebody who takes care of the belt, and then you've got somebody who's doing tactics. Um, I mean, I don't know where they're getting ships to make a I Navy. Like a... Funny, funny story about that. <laughs> <laughs> Want to tell them, Jack? <laughs> <laughs> Uh, remind me what I'm telling them. Uh, why Dawes is interested in buying the ship? Um, wants it to be a part of the... I thought I said that already. I don't don't think it was, it was explicitly stated yet. Okay. Yeah, I mean, he won't, it does, he doesn't want this Sinclair just, just for that reason, you know, uh, make it part of OPA Navy, keep you on the crew, uh, he'd even uh, probably, I mean, it seemed like you got people here already, but, you know, when I, he, when he tell me, uh, he can't, he want me to talk to you because he know we're close. He know that you trust him, but uh, I told him, like, I don't know if they trust me now. I have, I've been gone for a minute, but he sent me in anyway. Anyway, he say uh, you get extra crew if you need extra crew. Uh, so, you know, I mean, you'd be paid to be captain. You'd be doing your own things. You make money just by, like, doing what, I mean... What are you up to anyway these days? Where are you going next? What are you up to? What what, you, what kind of trouble are you looking for? I hope you're not running from it, anybody these days. No, we're not running from any trouble at all. As a matter of fact, we're doing... Um, I mean, I don't want to tell everybody's stories here because that's up for them to tell, but we've actually been do We've been helping people a lot. Um, and, you know, I think I could speak for the crew, maybe. But I'm not really sure that we'd be up for being a military ship or be used in a Navy. Um, I think that we're just happy getting jobs, you know, and having the freedom to get jobs and spend time, you know, with our loved ones, you know, check up on our loved ones, find our loved ones, you know, and uh, and keep building together as a family. Hmm. Um not looking to join another military group. That makes yeah, sense. I, I, yeah. I mean, I told him I didn't think it would make any sense, but, uh, and then, then I think about it, go, but why are you trying to sell the ship? You know, if, if everything's going good, why, why is it, why is it listed on this thing? And uh, I, and I'm, I, I'm going to like <laughs> look over at Zenny and Waxer and say, so I don't know if you saw what, what I was showing them, but and I'll just fling it up onto the, okay. to the it's screen. A list, it's a listing for the Sinclair from a local forum hound series. Oh, yeah. That's some captain problem right there. <laughs> <laughs> uh, no comment. <laughs> yeah, that is definitely a captain problem. Um, but, uh, but I agree. Yeah, I don't want to be hurting nobody on no, no ship or nothing. Sorry, Cap. It's okay. I think we've all been through so much. Um, and some of the crew here have been through a lot more than me, uh, than more than Wyatt, even, you know, because we've still got a lot of privilege out there that we can use. And, you know, it's not fair, but that's what it is. Um, but if you want to talk to Dawes and the reason why the ship is listing, because I have spouse problems. <laughs> And that's another reason why we were coming back here, because I need to talk to her. Oh, you mean you talk to me before you go talk to her? Okay. I, I mean, that seems about... I, I kind of like to go see her and say hi, and I'll turn to Zenny. Have you met? Have you met Rettelsa? I can't remember her Samella. name. What is, Samella. Samella. Have you met Samella? Oh, yeah. She's great. Yeah. Oh, yeah. Yeah, yeah. She really likes it when you tell her about what might have been up to. She really enjoyed that. <laughs> Yeah, yeah, I, I yeah. slept on the, oh, I've been sleeping on the couch when we would uh, dock at the station sometimes, metal, and they were nice enough to, to bring me and Mike McMichaels in, yeah. Nice hosts. Yeah, yeah, when we came back here from Ganymede, um, you know, my habit of trying to give people work didn't pay off very well. 
Um, so it's cost a lot towards our business and things have changed so much. Just life has changed so much that, you know, our business isn't doing really well. And this is, I'm hiding nothing from our crew, from our family here. I mean, your family, I got nothing to hide. Um, but yeah, I was just going to go ask her if she wanted to maybe crew up with us. And then we let our store go. Or that if she didn't want to be attached, that I would just buy her share out. And let her oh, continue to run the business how she wants and turn it into whatever she wants. Hard choices. Oh, I don't think Not just hard choices out in space, but hard choices in the heart. Maybe I go check the loading uh, mech. <laughs> like, uh, <laughs> like waxers all uncomfortable. <laughs> like hey, uh, Zany, give me a, I don't know, um, your choice of like. Roll some dice. Roll some dice and tell me what you get. Oh, I was joking, but. Oh, no, okay. I'm, I was not. There's no. There's no. Oh, well, really, okay. I, I would love it. What is, but what am I, what is happening? I, I just roll some dice and tell me what you get. <laughs> um, a lot. Um,. Yay? Thirteen double fours. Okay. Four some points. Yeah, you you're you're sitting there thinking about it and like you've kind of seen how much like money Myrtle throws around. Myrtle ain't buying the ship out. Oh I lied, it's fourteen, if it matters. Myr Myrtle doesn't <laughs> you know that Myrtle doesn't have the kind of like like funding to buy the ship out from her why like like and they can barely afford to keep it afloat. You you've been an inspector, you've worked around ships like this, you know how much this stuff costs. And you've seen yeah. how Myrtle and her, I mean, they're, they're well off, but they ain't that well off. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Uh, so. Mm, hey, Myrtle. Um. Mm, are you sure you can afford to buy this ship? That's the cat. Uh, Come on, to my coffee. <laughs> I mean, I I don't want to step on too many toes, but uh, if this shit means that much to you, I mean, I get. Uh, I guess I'd rather that she, we get rid of that business and she comes with us. But right, I don't know how a, she feels about sec. leaving her home. He, here's another question, though: If she comes on the ship, what's she gonna do here? Uh, it's a, it's an honest question because I I mean I don't do much while I'm on the ship, you know, uh, my my specialties are, you know, uh, other places, which is fine if you want if you want her to come to be, a, you know, companion, which is is great is a good reason, or to help like in other things, but, you know, it's just things to consider if if you want yep. her to come on the ship, what what's she gonna what's she gonna do, you know. Well, I've been thinking about this a lot since Luna. And uh, my hope is, is that if she would come with us, is that she could go out and find the jobs, you know, and could, you know, find things for us to do and, you know, support the crew and our family. And but what I don't know. Want that? Well, that's where I got to go talk to Samilla about that. I don't know how it's going to go. I don't want to lose her. I don't want to lose the ship. I'm really not all that attached to the store anymore, though. It could be if she is and doesn't want to leave, we just part from there. Um, I don't know. Maybe you go talk to that Sasaka and see what what yeah. she got to say about it all, you know? I mean... Maybe I she'll her. buy out my part of the store. Is that what you want, though? You want to be gone from from uh, from this life? I mean, I don't I don't know what happened since I'd be gone, but uh, you two seemed pretty good. I mean, she let you run all over space, you know? She didn't seem to mind too much, at least. I thought it was funny when she worried. That just so she loved you. Yeah, I think that we've been in a few dangerous positions over time, and I think it's just getting to be too much. 
And especially when our focus isn't on bringing in money to keep the store going. You know, we're, we're spending money to keep the ship going. Hmm. So maybe I should probably go. go have a conversation with her yeah. before we... Yeah. yeah, and maybe we go drink and make bets on what happened at that conversation. That that sounds like the more fun version of, of the night. <laughs> yeah, yeah, it does. So, uh, well, normally I would invite all y'all. I mean, Jackrabbit, if y'all you, you want to come by and say hello. Oh, no, 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 not, not knowing what's going on now. I mean. <laughs> just, just say hi. It'll be fine. And she blamed then, me. You know, yeah, she blamed exactly. me. I saw when she mad. I didn't want those eyes looking at me the way she look at you sometimes. <laughs> oh, no, she'd be fine to all y'all. You want to just come by and say hello? And she could see that all everybody's fine. <laughs> you know? But Michaels has a leg. Everybody's <laughs> fine. <laughs> Um, Why not are you scared to go there on your own, metal? You scared to go by there and without us? Yeah, a bit. <laughs> <laughs> you need a security team cap? <laughs> Maybe so. Just out of curiosity, uh, cap. Have thanks. you ever invited her to the ship? Um, no, I haven't. Maybe invite yeah. her here this time, and we'll leave. Well, we could yeah. try that. Oh, oh, Maybe we have ask. A, yeah, open ship whole crew mm -hmm. we all we all perform real good cap comes show you how you show her how you run everything and how we all listen and how productive we are yeah two things all right for, got two things for zenny number one uh you're really happy mcmichaels isn't here to hear uh myrtle say all that uh yeah. and then number two uh the last time you guys had the ship open to people you did not know things did not go well Correct. So I want to be clear. <laughs> yeah. The open ship idea is. A, I'm not going to roll for it. Is any? It is Red Flag yeah. City. Yeah. I'll. I think like I'll. Uh, I'll step. I'll do like a little half step forward uh, and say uh, maybe we. Maybe. Uh, I mean, I. Your wife seems great, but we did just replace the core of this ship because someone came on here that we weren't expecting. And that's not to say that your wife's gonna do do nothing. I don't. It's just anyone else who might also want to tag along without us right. knowing, you know. No, no, I, I, I hear you. I hear you. I, I think it would be better if I went to where she feels safe. Maybe, maybe you ask her out on a, on just take her out on a date, just a little one. You know, maybe, maybe you go get something to eat. Maybe you go take a walk or something. Something somewhere that's not not home, so it doesn't feel. You know, doesn't have that, but maybe, you know, somewhere neutral that you can you can both talk and you know be honest with each other. Yeah. Well, I'm gonna I'm gonna try for that because I think if uh, if I do that, she's not likely to yell at me too loud. Maybe yeah. maybe she need to yell at you, man. Maybe she does need Sometimes to yell at me. Sometimes, belt to louder, we need to yell. That's eh. that's just kind of how we be. Take her to an arm wrestling uh, bar, yeah? Yeah. Sometimes uh, get, get out that way, yeah? And talking, yelling. Somewhat loud yeah. with lots of people. <laughs> well, I'm in a position right now, so I'm going to let her dictate yeah. where I should go. You know, I just say, I mean, I know whatever you do with a ship, I, I don't feel like I got much say in it, but I mean, dolls, he pay, you know? You could, you could sell them the ship. You could keep your business going. Could be, could be years. Could go through the war. You know, you could be set for a bit. Maybe you even ask him about like what happens. You know, maybe put a timeline or something. Maybe find a way to buy it back. I don't. I'm just saying. Uh, I don't want. I don't want your marriage to end because you're not not looking at all the big picture. I know you two were in the military. I know it's weird to be in as an on an OPA ship, that, but. Uh, at least it's something to think about. Uh, that's my job to say, you know. I mean, I know no, I, I I'm not you. trying to argue. I hear maybe you. Maybe we could talk to. Maybe you can go back and talk to Dawes about buying out Samilla's side of it, or we still own the ship, but he has a stake in it too. I'm not giving up the ship. We've been through way too much on this ship. Yeah, I also don't want it to all could be completely owned by Dawes either. I don't want to be on his beck and call whenever he wants. Uh, if know? we sell the ship, I gotta take some, something out of a compartment, yeah? <laughs> <laughs> I get it. Oh, that get secret it. compartment there, Waxy? You want to take something weeks. out of there? I need two weeks. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> the I one no one weeks. else knows about but you and me, yeah? <laughs> yeah. 
<laughs> That's the one. You gotta tell McMichaels he goes running around. <laughs> Jeez. <laughs> All his stash the, the places. Yeah, yeah, and I just sit in there heads. going, uh, you pick up another, like, piece of mashinama or something? What kind of things you hide in no, these No, 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 we're fine. Uh, I know that people like to have something that's theirs that nobody else can see, and, you know. Yeah, it's like a lock Because clearly I'm, I'm not stupid that I don't know that people have stashed places all over the ship for things. I don't need to know what's in it because I trust everybody who's here. Except for McMichaels. Uh, it, it's, well, yeah, McMichaels, oh, McMichaels would keep it on. Nick Michaels doesn't have the brains to do anything. Yeah, his, stash his, his stash is different. His stash yeah. is different. His stash is different. It's not his stash from a mile away, so it's okay. <laughs> yeah. yeah. So, yeah, before we have Dawes on the ship or anybody else, we should probably make sure um, XO, if you could, you and Waxer could make sure that it does, the air smells cleaner yeah. around here. Wrong. That would be great. I'll run the recyclers now. <laughs> but yeah, Jack Rabbit, if you want to maybe talk to Dawes and let him know we're talking, we'll talk as a crew. But really, I got to go talk to my wife before anything. Or we can, who knows? She can't sell it without me, I hope. So you, uh, you get some, uh, you set up to go talk to, uh, Samella, kind of like... Hey, uh, Jackrabbit. What you... Uh, bef- uh, before you go, uh, do you want to join me down, uh, down by the, the engine room real quick? I got something, uh, you've been on the ship a while. I got something that maybe you want to take a, take a look at. Yeah, okay. I need Jackrabbit to roll Willpower Courage to go back into the machine shop. Oh. oh. <gasps> got Frozen Jackrabbit. You still there, Sam? I, uh, no, I scared him away. <laughs> I scared him away. Oh, no. <laughs> All right, we'll get them back here in a second. Um, so, uh, Myrtle, you go and set up to go get your. Do uh, you want to put on, like, do you want to do your hair up, or do you just want to go, like, how you are as captain mode? How do you want to go? I'm just going to go in. Uh... <laughs> Sorry, I read the chat. Um, <laughs> um, I'm just going to go in captain mode. Okay. All right. There Sorry, we go. Okay, I got she's, kicked. She's, yeah, we'll get you back here in a second. Maybe the cap will leave her oh, hand, hand terminal on so we could hear what goes on. <laughs> <laughs> No, 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 no. Yeah, everyone's got, like, everyone's got a, uh, got popcorn watching that. All right. So there's yeah. Sam. Oh, no. No. Lost Sam again. All right. Oh, okay. So, um, yeah, so you head up, you grab all your stuff and you get put together real quick, uh, and you, you head on back to your apartment and such, uh, without much issue. The, um, uh, you want to send her a message before you show up uh, that she should be expecting you? Or yeah. how you want to do this? Yeah, yeah. Um, go ahead and uh, you let her know that you've arrived station side and she's like, she's, she replies, yeah, I'm aware you've been there for a few hours. What, what took you so long? Um, a little impatient, but you um, go ahead and uh, come on back. Hey, sorry, my three Hmm. Oh, there we go. We got Sam back. Yeah. Get them back I, I think it's because when you asked me to roll that courage test, I rolled <laughs> no, like a doesn't. five. Yeah. And I was okay. like, it was like, then the machine was like, yeah. Oh, the chat blew up. The chat was <laughs> mad. They're like, oh my God, what's happening? Okay. Um, <laughs> we so, just got our back. So Where did they go? <laughs> then you're talking, you're telling her like, yeah, let's go on and have a talk. And she's like, yeah, sure. Talk. You know, Jack was like, sure, let's have a talk. And also, yeah, let's go down. Let's go down to like the machine shop slash uh, room, and like Jagger, kind of like you see like their face go white and like kind of like they're afraid. They are discernibly scared. Oh, oh no! Okay. Um. Uh, I think she's are the worst. Yeah. All right. So Myrtle, you go ahead and um. Yeah, Myrtle, you head down to um, uh, your apartment and go on and knock on the door. And, do you want to knock on the door? Or do you just want to go in? How do you want to do that? I'm just going to go in. Still in my house. <laughs> okay, it's, it's true. It's still your house. Um, 
and you uh, you go on in, and uh, Mel is kind of sitting there at the table, uh, chilling out. She has like it looks like she has a beer in her hand, uh, doing that whole kind of thing, and um, you uh, and she's kind of looks. You come in and have a seat. All right, uh, let me grab a drink. Okay. I'm gonna go grab a drink and then sit with her. So, uh, you, you know, you grab a beer and, and you open it up, the the and everything, and um, uh, she kind of looks at you, shaking her head, and like, oh. So, um. I would have been here earlier, but we had somebody uh, from Dawes' office come to see us as soon as we got here oh, well, um, to talk about how they saw somebody post basically a, how much do you want for this, or how much would this ship be worth if I want to sell it kind of thing? Yeah. Yeah. I'm, um, look, we're a business. We're, we're a business. And we have to keep options open, the business going. Yeah, yeah. And I'm just trying to check my options. Well, I think uh, we have a couple of options. Probably none of them good. Um, and, you know, well, are we, well, you're journeying out here. You know, and, and my crew even asked me, is, you know, if you'd even been to the ship. And you haven't. And I was wondering if, you know, that might feel like you're excluded from everything from uh, our crew from from everything that we're doing out there well we, we both know your your family's history you know you're married to your ships clear about this it's not a matter of you spending time out there I I think that what you're what the Coopers do But I'm not, you know, I'm gonna, I wanna, I'm not gonna, that's just, you know, obviously, I don't know if that's true or not, but it's how it feels. And if it's, you know, this thing we, I wanna work on this thing that we built together, that we have together, not this thing that you, that we stumbled upon and not, not the time for it right now. Everything's so hard to make, to have this thing going. And, I see the money just pouring in from this into that. Can't sustain, Myrtle. Like this is it. Like we're we're almost gone. You know, Cooper's goods is gonna be gone. What are we gonna have show? What are we gonna have for like you know our years of marriage and our years of working together to go after this? So that that's that's where I'm at. That's where I'm at. And I don't know what what you want to do. Well, I was thinking I might see if you wanted to come with me. I mean, the, the the universe has changed. Oh my god! You know, there's so oh much god. going on out there. And just abandon all this. Oh well, maybe god. have a manager to manage it for us, and we can go out and work oh, together. Another, oh, another employee. Oh, okay. Oh, yeah, of course, another employee, especially one with certain amounts of skills that will take a certain amount of pay out of our cut. That burned down a little lot faster. Myrtle, we got like, we have like a month and a half left here. Like, that's it. Like, uh, we don't have anything. We can't keep on running the ship. You know, you, I mean, you, we pay everyone and we try to be fair, but like, you know, I don't want to stiff these folks that, just, that, we're, that we've hired on. Um, and we can't, we can't run the imports. The ship isn't, the ship isn't big enough to run the stuff that people need, which is water and air right now. So like, Yeah, I, you know, here's the thing, Myrtle. I, I hate the fact I know how much torpedoes cost. But I do now. So that that's that's where I'm at. That's that's my circumstance. No. So, I don't want to quit. I don't want to, I'm not trying to quit you. I'm not trying to quit this thing. 
But to me, it seems like you're in love with the, the this this not the ship, not the people, but the whole thing. And if I went with it, I would just I'd I'd be at best another just someone sitting in your crew quarters waiting for you day after day. And in danger. I've heard the stories about what happened on Mars. I've heard all this, all those things. Come on. Can't keep this. Yeah. So either, either sell the ship and we get the money and we can keep this thing going. Or we're done. That's it. We'll, 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 we'll file some papers and we'll go through with it. Huh? I, I, but I can't, I can't do both. Yeah, I, I hear you. I do. And it's just become so complicated. It seems like a short time, but I mean, it's been a couple of years. I mean, I feel like we've been doing good out there, but I also see that us doing good and saving people doesn't help keep the business going. You know, I mean, and giving people slippers and, and ice, don't get me wrong, I like seeing the smiles on people's faces when we deliver goods, chocolates, whatever we have. But um, it's just not like but right now, it feels like everyone's on edge and everyone's worried about the, the next thing that's going to fall out of the sky at them. Well, yeah, that's that's true. Yeah, for everyone right now, it's just. I mean, until an, an, I mean, there's a navy. The OPA is growing a navy. What? What now? The OPA is growing a navy. I'm sorry. The OPA. Yes. Which OPA? There's a lot of OPAs. See, that's the problem. That's what I was saying when I heard. Hey, well, who'd you hear this from? Um, well, it's the reason why Dawes is interested in buying our ship. Dawes wants to buy the ship. Oh, Dawes can buy. Well, then problem solved. The governor of Siri Station wants to buy our ship. Fantastic. Oh. Where's the problem? Um, we don't want to sell it. We don't want to lose our freedom and be stuck working under Dawes. What? And he offered you a job. Why? Well, I assume the job would come with it. And, and, and what would you be doing for him exactly? On this ship. Oh, that's a good question. It depends. You know, what if he wants to convert it into a ship where we're going out with a Navy? And it's not going to be business, you know, moving goods around or, you um, know, well, taking people to on trips out to different places as, yeah. a, as a space taxi. So we have a belter. So we have a belter focused Navy. that will protect belters and make and, and, and make sure the belt's safe and also protect us from the inner, any kind of inner aggression. You want to help people, you sell the ship, you get a job. Myrtle, where's the problem here? Well, I don't, it's, it's not just you and I that own the ship. You know, there's other people that have to be considered here, you know, at least with Wyatt, you know? Um, I can't just go sell the ship under him. No, that's 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 yeah, not fair yeah, to him. You, and he, you, you can. We registered it here on series under a thing. It's all registered under your name. That registration you popped up with that uh, came it back here is all under you. You own the Sinclair. Would they give him a job? I don't know. I got to go talk to Dawes and see exactly what he wants. And if he wants us to, you know, I don't know if you've heard of Ashford. But the people yeah. that are in the the people that are going to be doing the, this Navy are pirates. But, but here, here's my question to you, Myrtle, and I get it. You're an inner. I get it. Who called them pirates first? Well, that's a good question. House Ashford's a hero to some of us. Other ones. But yeah, from where if you're coming from Luna. Yeah, no, I can see. And he's and he stole from you. I get it. If he stole from, if he was the one bringing uh, you and your people air and air scrubbers and make sure your kids don't go hypoxic, hero. Well, I got to talk to Dawes and just see what it is that he wants. Okay. 
Okay. Keep your options open. Keep it. Keep an open mind when you talk to him. Okay. And make sure he's as clear with you as possible. Oh yeah. Oh yeah. For sure. Um, because what if he buys it and then throws us all off of it? You know. So see, we'll see. One, I, I got to talk to him. Once. See what once. Right. I will do that. All right. I will do that for you yeah. and for us. Oh, and she kind of she kind of takes a swig of her beer and says, uh, "Like, look, I, I love I love you, Myrtle. I really do, but I can't can't keep. I just I can't this this current case situation. I can't keep it up. I just can't." I love you. And and I believe you. I mean, it, it's true. I mean, you're you're not in the happy stick end of the stick here. Thanks. It's okay. Okay. So she um she kind of goes over and embraces you and you know goes in for your romantic inclinations. Uh. Uh. And uh, you're set up a meeting with yeah, figure, figure, set up a meeting with uh Dawes or whatever it is, right? Uh, and so anyways, okay, back to the, the ship, um, you guys got, um, uh, the, uh, you guys got, you guys got Jackrabbit there and Jackrabbit gets a thing and starts tapping on, on this, on the screen of a little data pad. I gotta, I gotta, I gotta bounce out, uh, but and take care of something, uh, OPA Navy business, right? And they're like, kind of laughing about it. And then, um, the, uh, kind of goes to bounce out. Um, did you want to try to call the crew, Myrtle, or what did you want to do? Uh, yeah. I'll, I'll just kind of send a, a real quick thing. Sure. You know, it's just like, hey, I finished the discussion, got a chat, need to set up a meeting with Dawes. And you get a you 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 throw in real quick and like I mean you have Dawes as assistant on the line pretty quick, and they've set up a meeting and stuff like that for you guys um, within with within the hour. The night. Okay. This seems to be a business piece he wants to do. Um, a lot of you uh, guys kind of reconvene after a few hours, get some food, get some grub, take care of some local business, whatever you want to get get a hold of real quick. Um, but Myrtle's set up a, a, a meeting with a Dawes and a few of his uh, representatives. Um, here on the station, um, you guys head on. You, you guys want to head on over, or do you want? Do you want to do more? Before over? we go, I want to sit down with Zinni and Wax here okay. and see what they think about all this. Like their honest opinion. Yeah. Okay. Okay. Yeah. And Jack, I'm gonna let you give you guys some privacy. Let you talk it over. You guys are, you know, pretty big important part of this ship at this point. So before we go, see what. All's going down. I'd like to know what where you guys stand and what you feel about all this. Well, I, I mean, I'm torn. You know, I, I say, yeah, if the cap, I mean, if we sell it, we'd be working for dolls, yeah. But um, I mean, yeah, I don't know what we're gonna be doing it as part of the the navy. But um, I don't know. I I trust the caps decision otherwise i mean we're gonna have no ship what we're we gonna do you know we're gonna i'll be working off on the dock i'll probably be put on another ship right working for another crew we'll be all split up so um yeah i mean and also i mean if we out there handling other belters maybe who are causing problems for for the system or whatever doing extreme stuff like yeah that I'm, i've always for chasing, handling that kind of business, yeah, and then uh, doing that because um, I don't, I do think that they're, they're adding to the problem and the, the tension that's going on. So, but I'm not sure what was any might think too about it. It's a, it's a pickle. Yeah, yeah, yeah. It is. Um... I, uh, it's hard because I mean it would be I mean I'm not blind to see what what is what's changing 
Uh, You're also not blind to know what your brother's out there doing either. Yeah. I don't want to do that kind of stuff. Yeah. They'll put yeah. us in direct conflict with... Yeah. It's true. Yeah. But if they're going to do this to where they're out to help people, I'm all for that. But I'm not going to hurt people. Yeah, that's... That's... I think that's where... That's where I'm at. Um... Because I... That, there's a lot of things that... That I... I I heard about happening that, I mean, I was too young to know exactly what was going on, but, or I didn't care enough to know what was going on. But I mean, my parents did, they did a lot of, I mean, Jack Rapper was talking truth. My parents, they did a lot of things. They were part of the, they were part of the extremists. They, you know, I mean, my brother, he listened to them and other people. And I, 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 I just, I just, I just don't like it when when people think that they're doing something good but they're trying to they're trying to do it the bad just not a good way, you know? And I mean that's I think Dawes is a is a is a good is a good speaker. He's done he's done some good things, but but I also don't think I mean I don't know. I don't know what his motives are. You know, is he going to be one of the ones who who uh, who takes our ship and uh, you know makes us do things that we go we go we go we go and do what we go and hunt down pirates? All right, good. How we how we take care of them? You know, how is he going to make us take care of them? And yeah, you know, that's just that's where that's where I'm at. So I I mean. I don't want you you all to lose the ship, but it's uh, as soon as Dawes tells us to do something that I don't like, I can't stay. I mean, he's gonna take it if he want it, too, you know. And uh, or if we say no, and or we somehow get the money and the credits to to get our own ship and go. What if we run into trouble with the pirates? You think the OPA Navy gonna come help us? We say no to Dawes, you know. We burn. We might be put on his bad side too. So yeah. it's almost like we we he know the choice, he know the answer what he wants us to do, but Yeah. And I mean there's a there's a good chance that, you know, the if we do get into this OPA Navy you know, I know as much as you and Myrtle you don't wanna go back to any sort of military, I mean that's a connection. That could be a good way for me to find my to find my brother. But like, you know, I'm not gonna make you give up your ship or give up what you're doing for that. I mean, that's that's a lot. So, I guess what well, I guess I guess all that to say is, I want to make sure that we're helping people more than we're hurting people, just like yeah. you said. I mean, maybe that's where the cap and XO here. Where if we do take the missions and we do, we do take the orders from Dawes, you know, when we get to that situation, we just handle it the way our crew handled it. Yeah. Yeah. So, maybe that's maybe that's our maybe that's our brother. You know that yeah. he can have the ship, sure, but we take care of it the way we think we need to. He doesn't yeah. have any say on that. I really yeah. like to not give the ship up at all. That's yeah. Yeah. Just, <laughs> I mean, he goes. You don't have to his... like. I don't care to sell a part of it. But it should still be ours. Yeah, maybe that's something we work off with. We make a deal with Dawes and we work it off. And uh, we get Sin doing doing his works. Yeah, we just we do it the, the Caps way, you know, and, and your way about uh, handling stuff. And yeah, I mean, we're not a military. Sh I'm not a military crew. You know, I don't do that no more. I'm not trying to go in a kill everybody in the system <laughs> be fair for Wyatt and Zanny you did watch this guy beat some <laughs> several weeks ago bare fists yeah, oh, if, I <laughs> um, if I don't have to you know yeah 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 yeah, yeah. there was a it was different yeah. <laughs> it was a little different and I'd be crying in my cell all night <laughs> after I did that <laughs> yeah. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. I'm very pit yeah, yeah. 
But right. uh, I mean, yeah, that might be the one way. So we do it our way, Cap's way. <laughs> yeah. Um, then you're playing it back in your mind when uh, Jackrabbit left and uh, kind of left the ship kind of abruptly. And it was when you mentioned going down, down uh, at the bottom of the ship. You think something's oh, up with yeah. that too? Like you're like yeah. something's up with that. That was weird. Like I thought she was a badass yeah. of the ship, um, and all of a sudden it was like it just like yeah. light switch. Yeah, what we hear? Um, sorry, it slipped my mind because. Uh, well, I was I was trying to take Jack Rabbit downstairs to. I, I thought maybe because of their work with the with the OPA, maybe they could see you know if someone did something with our, you know, with that code and everything that that happened with the core. But I mean, I I, I got down there and. You know, she just kind of froze up and didn't. She didn't want to go down any farther. Do you, why? Do you know anything? What? What? I it's mean, really not my place to say, probably. But I mean, you don't have to go into details. But like, that was the last place Onyx was ever here, and that whatever if she wants to tell you, she could tell you eventually. But that was the moment everything changed. I'll put it that way. Uh, the built a lot burrito, of us. The built a burrito guy? <laughs> that you always talking about? Yeah, he's, he's a good dude. Hmm. But yeah, I'll, I mean, if she wants to talk about it, I'd be more than happy to talk with her about it. But what happened that day changed everything, like I said. It's not quite been the same since. All right, so uh, Myrtle, you've made your way back to uh, ship, get the crew. Uh, Myrtle, let you know that you guys have an appointment. It pops up in all your calendars with a meeting here with Anderson Dawes. Not a meeting you can say no to, especially when you're on his station. Because <laughs> <laughs> uh, he'll let you see the door. <laughs> no. um, uh, but um, yeah, you guys uh, have the meeting. Up. Anything you guys want to uh, wanna, like dress up, or you just want to go for whatever's good? Yeah, I'm not gonna dress up. Yeah, I'm gonna dress up. Sorry, right, right, you come on in. Yeah, you guys move on down to the governor's area. Still a pretty nice area. Come on into a conference room. You guys have been in this conference room. So I think it's your third time in this conference room. You come on in. You you recognize his assistant, and uh, Dawes is sitting there talking to a few uh, other belters. Um, these guys look a little more rough than the, the people he usually keeps around. Uh, definitely look like. Uh, Ones that run ships that like that like they have their own ships and kind of uh, you're guessing maybe other captains. You, uh, then he recognized a few of them from the docks and stuff that he probably worked on their ship or inspect their ship once or twice. Um, and uh, he's talking to them and you guys come on in and he goes, "Ah, it's like, yeah. Captain Goopa, this is a uh, excellent, excellent meeting." Look, my little, look, my friends, uh, Captain Cooper of the Sinclair. We were we we had mentioned Howdy. you. We had mentioned your crew uh, briefly. Uh, you did some work for Tyco Corporation. Yeah, that was us. Excellent work, excellent work. It's, it's, Thank we, you. We were very happy with that, and the word has gotten around about what you did for uh, Delta Loda uh, refugees and such on Tyco Station. Uh, absolutely uh, devastating. What the Golden Bow are willing to do to us. Um, Gentlemen, I'm, I'm, I'm going to have a meeting with Captain Cooper and their crew, if you wouldn't mind. They all kind of stand up and say, they kind of shake hands. Oh, excellent. Uh, there's a there's the drink cart that you are all you've helped yourself to before. Uh, do you want to help? Do you want to ask his assistant, or do you want to help yourself to the drink cart, or do you just want to say screw it? Wait, just I'm just going to help myself. Right. Yeah. yeah, you guys start pouring up while the other guys. I mean, we might lose the ship. Yeah, if we might lose the ship. We might as well <laughs> we can blow, to make the blow a little easier. Yeah. <laughs> Um, we'll just have a nice new, not like a really giant one. Oh, just yeah, because we yeah, want to be respectful. Yeah, yes. have a few fingers of you know whatever you got. Right. Okay, so yeah, you guys load up those shots and take some drinks, and he goes, "Yeah, please sit, sit." Um, and uh, was, uh my uh, so your good friend uh, Ensign Dalion uh, met with you, I believe, right? Yeah. And this is the first time you've ever heard someone refer Jackrabbit by an actual, like, rank. 
and that throws you off a little bit, both Wyatt, uh, actually all of you, because you met this Belcher and they're just kind of like, who, who the hell ever, and all of a sudden now they're Ensign Dalion. Um, and uh, he's like, um, did, they exp did they make clear my, my interest? Um, yeah, yeah, yeah. That was pretty clear. No, I, I want to say this doesn't come out of nothing. This is not just, I, I'm not just looking for just a ship. A ship without a good crew is worthless. Um, so yes, I am, I am interested in purchasing the ship uh, on behalf of the OPA Navy, arranging that. And also interested in making sure you are then members of the Navy as well, with employment benefits, everything. Well, uh, we have some questions and concerns. Oh, um, please. Uh, we're not really looking to sell. Um, we'd like to maybe talk about those kind of options, um, but she's our home and we don't really, we don't want to sell her all outright. Let me, let me, he looks so wise. Uh, Mr. Thompson, let me, um, let me ask you a question. How many ships in Martian Congressional Republic Navy are not owned by the Martian Congressional Republic? Um, well, they're all owned by Martians. Exactly. We want to make sure that if anything goes wrong, in the situation that the blowback does not land on you personally, it lands on the OPA Navy. And with your with your command experience, I mean, you would be an absolute asset. I mean, we would put you on as captain. Earl, this would not be an issue at all. Your crew would remain intact. Hell, we would add more crew. I understand you're operating without a permanent engineer. Well, <laughs> <laughs> that's a really good point. <laughs> let's fly I through, like it part let's fly, time. Let's fly through the deadliest environment possible with no engineer on board. <laughs> we, we, we've got we ejected so a far. core without an engineer, so it's fine. It's fine. Yeah. We survived that. Jeez. How bad could it be? Um. Yeah, yeah. He's like, so a full crew wouldn't be an issue. The Sinclair is equipped for defense by all means. I, uh, I've heard of your just indiscretion with Inaros little uh, scavenger fleet. Yeah, yeah, yeah. That was unexpected. Well, let me ask you this then. Um, I don't have. This isn't conclusive, and this does not leave this room. Do we? And he looks at a waxer and Zenny. Do, do we? Under, do we make a? Yeah. Be clear. Mm -hmm. Um. Naros does not take well to. Being hurt. And you hurt him. Really. Yes. Um. The two ships you fought off substantial damage we have it on the floor we have it on good um intelligence that the repairs were substantial uh most of the crew survived but uh they did take casualty that was a costly failure for them and we know of your uh issue that happened at Tycho State. Uh, honestly that was something we had not heard uh, we did not have any expectation or intel on, and we are currently looking for dealt with. Director Johnson is uh, not happy. So you work with Fred Johnson? <laughs> yes, I, I've been Fred and I have been friends for for decades now, and and he's he's a real ass to the belt. Honestly, this I don't think we could have pulled this off without him. His, uh, into military operations vital. I don't believe he will not be a part of the OPA Navy, but he is definitely an advisor. 
All right. And in hmm. fact, um, door and he's, he pulls up some notes and he says, uh, the notes from, uh, on Tycho station from Dingo and Tedwin come back with a glowing review saying that uh, we should bring you on to the OP Navy, that you would be a valuable asset to it would be helpful. You, well, you, you know, <laughs> He's like, do you uh, think, do you, let me ask you a question. Let me ask you a question. Sure, sure. Uh, all, all of you here, actually. How, you all know what happened on Ganymede. Some of you were there. How different would that have been in terms of prevention and even relief efforts if there was a Navy that looked out for the Belters? How many, how many months did you spend down there before you got off that rock? Hmm. Well, these are all really good questions. And I see where you're coming from. I think that we all see where you're coming from here. But there's nothing really that's compelling for us to give up our freedom and our own ship to work for somebody else. Um... Mm -hmm. I mean, do you, do you currently, are you currently taking jobs from other belters? Sure, yeah. I mean, we haven't had a chance because we've been busy with you and Tycho. And... Well, then why not work for all belters? Well, you say all belters, though. Well, to be, then he, then he is correct. There are some uh, Naros faction, Golden Bow, that have been problematic. And you have seen how they are problematic. You have seen how they keep us divided and make the innards, they are the ones that the innards hold up and then hate us. But we were the ones to go back and say, we will take care of them. We will take care of our, our people. We will make sure that our house is in order and we will take care of them. One, we understand who they are. We know what, how they operate. We have better insight than them. And then the innards can deal with these people. But by all means, Marco Anaros, I mean, <laughs> Uh, he's still not the most welcome person on the series. If, if he, him showing his face on here would be a threat to all Belters on this station. Well, you're not wrong there. And, and um, look at how Golden Bow, you, you saw firsthand, Golden Bow, Belters were taking Belters to sell Earthers. This is unacceptable. This is completely unacceptable. Yep. That's what I well, want you to do. And you helped how many people there? Two dozen or so? Imagine helping thousands. You would have access to our intelligence. You would have access to our resources. All these things. But I can't, I can't part own a ship. Maybe there's a way, Cap, that uh, we do this in our things for for dogs hmm. and we we get our ship from like we do the job and we win we win our ship we own our ship we do one thing and that's that that it with him it, i mean he's like by all means we would own the ship we would pay for repairs we'd pay for all those things we would ask that you do some things for us once in a while but a major element would be uh you know uh ensuring the security of Belters on our behalf. There, there are there are things at work you cannot imagine right now. Let me show you. Let me you ask where Fred Johnson was? And as, you, as he says this, um Jack Rabbit kind of walks in the room when as you guys are meeting with Anderson Dawes. And he pulls up on the screen, and you've seen this before, Jack Rabbit. You've seen this these screenshots, this kind of operation, and it looks like all this telemetry of like orbital mechanics. I mean, really complicated shit. It makes your head swirl. Jack Rabbit, you can kind of get through it a little bit. Have you seen it before? And he goes up and he zooms on the section of it, and it's the fucking Navu. The Navu will be in a position here in the next few months. The uh, Tycho Corporation, Earthers by all means, they I will say as Earthers, they love a good challenge. This has been an apt challenge. Our friend here, Jack Rabbit, will be piloting one of the interceptions. Uh, with some prototype uh, of navigational tools on them. Bring back the Navu. 
and then he goes over and he, and he has the picture of the Navu and he kind of flashes it over and you see what looks to be the Navu still but there's like guns and shit mounted to it everywhere like why you start counting and you count over like I mean like 100 PDC cannons on this it, it's terrifying um, and he's like that that will, will be what all belters will look towards and know will be protecting them in the skies above wherever they are. That is what we bring to the table. And we would like you to be a part of it. Oh. You, you've, you've known Dawes before. I mean, Dawes is like, this is, we're doing this shit for sure. This is real. This isn't some ragtag bunch. He's like, the factions will come together. They continue to believe what they want to believe, but we all believe in one thing, and that is the belt is to rise up. And we will rise up. And that will be our flagship. How will they all take it when they see that you got an Earther and a Martian running a ship? Well, how did they take it when they knew that Fred Johnson was a spokesperson for the OPA? Not well. But they've come to accept his position and his help and how he helps us. And we have accepted him. He has seen the light. And you have seen the light. Why not continue to be that light? But Navu, really? I I have to tell you, when uh, Jonathan pitched me this idea, I, I, I laughed a lot. Until I realized... I mean, you know, beef or not with the man, I... He's not known to be... What's the word I'm thinking for? He's, uh, he, he's cautious. Exactly. He's a cautious kind of guy and mm-hmm. wouldn't just randomly do this thing. Exactly. This is why we had to wait for our moment to rise up. The Martians and the Earthers have their guns pointed at each other. They're currently fighting over Jupiter. Something's happening. Yeah. But we're still trying to figure that one out. But it, these last uh, months have been absolute opportunity for us. And there will be an opportunity for us in the coming year or so. I mean, it will take them months to reconvene and to reestablish their, their security routes on the trade lines. This is our opportunity. And Johnson, as a tactician, knew had to wait. I will give him this. He's a very patient man. But I am too, so... Well, I mean, he'd have to be with what he, to stick it out this long when everybody on that belt hated him. And many still do for conf- what he did. He confronted that hate. He confronted and accepted his sins, and he has proven himself in redemption. You work for the Innards. You were you and Wyatt here both. How many times? How many times did actions you take put Belta kind? I, yeah, I think, too too many, too so many for sure. Say what you want about about Fred Johnson. At least he knows his body count. So this is what I offer. Um, fully paid for your ship. Keep you on crew. Add crew as needed. I have several engineers. I would let you be happy to pick which one you want. Ready to go. Um, we are still working the logo out. Um, <laughs> but uh, and it's not a formal uniform type of thing. Uh, this he kind of looks at your attire. Your, your attire here would be as factory. I was like, because I don't want him to wear a uniform again. So what does a belter look like? And you'll hear plenty of different stories from from Beltas. We want to make sure that they see our diversity. They see, and we don't want we want to make sure the factions can identify as the own faction. Like, look at your friend Jackrabbit here. Jackrabbit uh, caught up his Voltaire collective on Ganymede. Attacked Martian soldiers for what they were doing. And then drifted around and we saw the talent moving this. We saw a pilot that that did something to fight for. Why not fight for all belters? There's just a few belters. The 
Listen, it's, it seems like this is something to... I, I'm happy to answer any questions you'll have. Um, but uh, you're... In, he looks to murder. I'm well aware of your ship's uh, financial status and your business and such. I understand circumstances. And it is a, by all means, it is a tough position I am putting you in. I understand that. Oh, well, yeah. But, I mean... But as I on the other hand, you know, we've put ourselves in a hard position, too, at times. Yeah, risk is always, that's always the issue with risk. I, too, am a patient man. I've mentioned it. I can wait my turn. So, uh, we want you to be a part of this. Things are going to change more so than they ever have. Eros, Eros was just the beginning of this. And with the Ganymede situation, that was that was the first that was the flare up that's going to be the fire of the Belters. Right. We're not looking to to attack the Inners. We're not looking to take Mars or Earth. That is theirs. That is by all means theirs. We are just looking to make sure their force does not come and take our livelihoods away as they have for generations. Uh, um. It's a truth. Anybody thing. else? It's a truth you've seen, Myrtle. It's a truth you've seen, Wyatt. Now you're just seeing the bigger version of that truth. Right, right, Zenny, right. Waxer, you lived it. Jackrabbit. Yeah, he looks at Jack. He's like, Jackrabbit, where? Can you go home? Don't have to bring my home into it. You know what I mean? That that low blow. But my point is that you can't. I and can't who, go home, yeah. And they can. And I want to make that make sure that that is never happens again. I want to make sure that an entered corporation does not come out and test things on Belters. And whatever the hell happened on Ganymede, whatever the hell that was, I want to make sure that we're ready to protect ourselves. Do you think if if if, if the UN or the MCRN knew about Eros, they would come and stop it? They would just want to be the one with the highest bid. Anyway, so he's like, I, I've given you a lot to think about. Yeah, yeah. Um, talk amongst yourselves, consider it, uh, help yourself to the bar. Um, but I am ready and willing to uh, purchase Sinclair for an above uh, air rate and provide you all with positions on there as you see fit. Um, he looks to Jack Rabbit says, Ensign De Leon, uh, which you're still, that feels weird. When he says that to you, to, to Jack Rabbit, but it's it's like I have a, you have a title, so it's cool. uh, and Anderson Dawes knows your name, so that's kind of cool too. Uh, <laughs> uh, you know, um, he says, um, "See that your friends uh, make the best decision uh, for themselves and everyone." Oh, I have another meeting, and he goes off to this thing and says, um, and as he walks out, he turns back, he says, um. Everyone was really impressed by all of you. I'll have to, I'll have to get you a copy of that review sometime. It, it's something that will. Uh, there wasn't a coincidence that we that we hired you for, off of that, Echo Corp. Uh, Fred set that up and he said, "Check these people out." And I was like, "I know them." And flying mm. colors across the board, everyone. Take, take care, and he walks out the door. <laughs> I'm going back to the drink cart. Yeah. Zenny is also. <laughs> yes. We all like huddle in the drink cart. Yeah. I've got, so before we go on, I have to say, I fucking love playing Anderson Dawes. Anderson <laughs> fucking Dawes. I love playing Anderson Dawes. Okay, go on. Sorry. <laughs> <laughs> go over to Jackrabbit and be like, if you were in our position right now, if you were still on this ship with this, what would you do? Good question, man. I, you know, I don't know. That's that's a good question. I think uh, you guys always be doing good things. You know, you always chasing one one good thing after another good thing. I think I'd ask 
I don't know. I mean, you know me. I don't ever like it. It hard to see here talking like that. I don't. I try not to talk back so much these days. And you know that's that's not that's not usually my style. I just stand here. He called me like Ensign de Leon, like like uh, something fancy. You know, talking uniforms, that kind of thing. I, you know, I don't like that stuff. But uh, one thing I've been thinking about, you know, on these days, and I've been gone and being on the ship and kind of experienced a different kind of life. You know, I never I never thought I had anything. I never thought there was anything to, to live for except the next day and the next day and the next day. And uh, you, you all made me say, maybe it does matter to kind of try to help people, you know? Uh, maybe it's matters to get shot. Why? Maybe sometime you got to do that. Uh, I mean, I still think it better not, you know, just d- <laughs> duck and hide. You know, but oh, yeah. maybe maybe there's something bigger than just whatever next, you know, whatever in front of you, whatever job they happen to get. Maybe there's a way to be part of something bigger. And I, I, that's what I tell myself anyway. I don't know if I buy it. I, I feel it like it bullshit coming out of my mouth. You know, when did I become this kind of coil? But uh, I guess that's that's what I blame. I blame you, <laughs> both of you, really. You watch out, Zanny Waxer. They, they they change you from different kind of belter. Maybe change good though. Yeah, I feel like uh, something's coming, and uh, yeah, we're gonna have to choose sides whether we want to or not. That's what I'm afraid of. Every every belters be arming up, inners be arming up, armies are buildings. I don't know. I got a bad feeling. <clears throat> Once upon a time, we hired someone, a good buddy. We hired this this uh, this uh, Sisata, and she come in. We try to make a. I try to get them to put billboards, you know, in the station to hire us. I thought, you know, maybe that do some good stuff. Uh, I don't know. She has lots of questions, like what do you, what do you what did you? I can't even remember what what kind of thing. The stuff I thought was bullshit at the time. Maybe that's the kind of question you ask now. You know, like. What is it you all want? You know, you want to be putting yourself on billboard, just looking for jobs, taking them as they come. Is, is that what you want to keep doing? I mean, I, I get it. I, as a part of me that try to get get into this and a part of me that doesn't want it, but you make your choices and I made, I've made some and that's how I end up here. Yeah, I mean, I think things are changing. We saw it on Ganymede, and and we want to go around doing the right thing, but you know, everything else is changing in the in the system, and I don't know if we can just go around doing job to job. Yeah, running, uh, it's all gonna come heading right toward us, and uh, I don't know. I mean, I don't know if it's the right thing to join the OPA Navy and Dawes, but I don't know if that we can. We can fly around and uh, hide from it from all right now. <laughs> and um, he's right. I mean, Marshes B do te- pe- you know testing on belters, and if they get a hold of that, and everybody's you know wanting to get more of this and more of that, they're gonna be more uh, waxes, you know, out there. Now with little legs, big legs too. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, that, that, that's kind of striking you as kind of weird, Jackrabbit. Is like Waxer talks about there, like people making more Waxors, and that's like what, like, like, like babies, like what? <laughs> yeah, I probably would give Wyatt like a look, like this guy smoking things with, with that guy down in the, you know? <laughs> yeah, they te- they'd be tested on me, but I don't know. Yeah, I, I don't know if there's much anywhere else to hide in the system. <clears throat> that's what Wax is afraid of. So, maybe a vote with everybody on the ship. Give everybody the option. You're going to let Michael's vote? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> no. Uh, well, I mean, if they don't, if I mean, they just, don't want to be a part of it, then they can. They always have the option to leave. I mean, that's true. That is true. I mean, yeah. Just, yeah. Dawes is not conscripting you. He's not forcing you, but he's offering you an opportunity to, to like maintain your status on the ship and to operate it. Mm-hmm. Um, and and you do know, I mean, all, like that captains can operate of ships can operate pretty independently until they get called into like, certain actions. They have a general mission. 
um, usually like an area they kind of take care of or something. You have a beat. Yeah, that's yeah. yeah. And I was telling XO, you know, maybe when Daw sends us out somewhere for for something to do, you know, you as a cap, because you you all the way you are, we could handle it a different way, a nonviolent way, maybe even if we have to. I mean, that's the best we could do. And then, I mean, he paid for the ship, he paid for the crew. We're gonna get engineers. I mean, I I just don't. I, Wax is afraid. I don't see any other option out there. <laughs> I think too everything good that we've had has just fallen into our lap the ship each other this just fell in our lap too maybe it's uh, maybe it's the right move yeah I mean the Mormons brought Wyatt and I together <laughs> that's true you know and Jackrabbit but, I, drink, uh, I drink a bunch more to that, uh, that. No, they, they, <laughs> They are very family oriented. You have described this group as a family. So, like, I mean, that was the subtext of the whole game, people. Yeah. <laughs> lost the Jackrabbit again. Yeah, we lost Jackrabbit again. No. no. Oh, they're back. Yeah. Here we go. Yay. 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 This right. is so annoying, y'all. I, I, yeah. Yeah. All right. We'll, we'll get through it. We'll power through. Um, so, yeah. So, vote. Uh, do you want? Did you want the rest of the crew to vote, Myrtle, or like, and Wyatt, or did you want like? Uh, but just the supervisors. The, just the supervisors. <laughs> yeah, I mean, you're gonna have a certain level of clearance. That is true. You do have clearances on the ship. So, I mean, you can, yeah. I think this, so, this group is the right group to decide. Yep. Yeah. So, I know that a lot of this, you know, some of, you know, obviously the pros here is that it's gonna help me personally. You know, and that's not your bag. That's my bag. And unfortunately, that baggage comes with me wherever I go. <laughs> so, I mean, but I also, we have goals. We have goals and a way of life that we like. And we have, we have things to do for you. You know, looking at Zenny and Waxer and, um, you know, I want to support you folks 100%. And, you know, but why it's right. We have had a lot of stuff just drop on us or go right. Like a whole bunch of violence and then really cool things. So, but we have been able to work around, like you said, with not violence isn't every single answer, you know? And um, I I hate to do it. I don't want to do it, but I mean... You know, she's a legitimate salvage. So, I don't know. It, it's it's up to you. Um, well, it's, it's up to all of us. But I definitely want to listen to you and take your vote seriously. Alright. You guys want to make a secret ballot or do you want to, like... <laughs> I vote no. for it. I'm all for it. All right. I think it's the right move. I really do. Got one four. I don't agree with it. We just leave. We find a new ship and we do our own thing again. Because I mean, that's like, like you were saying, Waxer, and, you know, it's just that things are getting hot out there. And we could probably use some protection because what's going to happen if we get caught up in something while there's a war going on? We've been lucky so far. Yeah, we won't be able to help nobody. We can't help Zenny's brother. If, if we happen to get see them first, we could handle that differently than if, hey, let's say Dawes and, and the other OPA Navy. I don't know. My, my vote is, yeah, we, we, we join in. Same. It's got to be unanimous, though. So. No, it doesn't. <laughs> <laughs> technically, technically it does John <laughs> you, know, you guys never declared how to be unanimous you said it was like a vote yeah. that's true, uh, that's true. Just rules get... afterwards. Nice. <laughs> uh, I mean I said this to to Wyatt and Waxa before but I mean I'm I'm in it I'm I'm in with what with where you all are going um I just uh, I, I, I want to hurt as few people as possible that's that's just where I'm at. Yeah. Too many too many belters have died already. Too many yeah. inners have died already. Too many people have died already. I just don't want to hurt anybody. Yeah. I, I, agree with can, 
yeah. be part of a navy working in the name of peace, doing yeah. everything we can to bring people together and try yeah. to take care of us and take care of them. And they're going to have to trust our crew and our decisions and Cap's decisions, you know, if they put us part of the part of their navy. So I feel like it gives us a little bit of uh, leverage and power when we, when we get there first or we see something we want, we don't like and we want to do different. I think that's the one way we do something positive and good. Yeah. Jackrabbit, you get a ding on your data pad. It's from Anderson Dawes. He says, did they figure it out? I'm going to just look. I'll look at them and be like, Dawes want to know if you figured it out. Uh, we're going to clean out the bar first. <laughs> uh, not yet. They, they might take all night. <laughs> I can whenever whenever caps whenever we're ready like I'm looking I'm feeling good I'm looking at the crew like at least we we all have some type of understanding yeah we wanna do, well, I would like to get uh I would like to have Samilla because mm. she's definitely more mm. brains for contracts mm. I would like her to look over it sure. before we sign anything uh, do you want to forward it over to her and everything? The paperwork uh, yeah. is like right there. Like, like it's all ready to go. Okay. So you forward yeah. it over to her and just like, oh, she's okay. And she like, she seems really happy about that. And uh, kind of comes back and says, I'll, I'll look over it. Give me like a day or two. Oh, I'm sure it's not that much fun. And, uh, you know, while you're doing this too, like the paperwork also includes like a list, like a, I'll add, like a list of different engineers to bring on board. It's a crew you can, you have access to. Um, but, uh, Ensign Dalion, there's a, uh, sense of self-satisfaction for that identity of Ensign Dalion that's kind of emerging, and that you've accomplished your mission, your first mission for the OPA Navy, the one, the first mission you were put in charge of, you've just accomplished, you recruit the crew yeah. of the Sinclair. I, I will admit, though, it feels a little dirty, you know, like, <laughs> there's, there's a part of me that, like, I it's, love still re it's like my shirt feels kind of too tight, yeah. you know, like in my body. I just like, God, it, I don't know. There's a and I, I'd probably say it like I, I'd probably say that out okay. loud to the crew. You know, I'd say like, hey, that that my first mission for them. And I, I'm not going to lie. I just I want you all to be safe. You know, don't don't let something happen to you because. I feel like it'll be on me now. So you think about that when you get into some trouble, you say, I don't want Jack Rabbit thinking about me and blaming herself for, I mean, I think it's a good thing, you know, jo joining the, the stuff, but I, I just. I mean, yeah. if you're the best pilot and you're with them, I mean, that means they're at least recruiting the best of the best of some of the Belters. So yeah, maybe that ain't so bad. Yeah, but I mean, it's a new world, right? Like who would have ever taught this kind of thing when we met all those all those days ago? You know, it, it, it feels it feel kind of good too. Maybe we should drink more of his uh, his. Uh, wait, what what the heck is this stuff? I don't care. I just put it in my glass. It's like anyway. brandy. Yeah. Yeah. <clears throat> Fancy. Yeah, we're gonna have to tell McMichael's. They might drug test him when he's in the OPA Navy. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> we're gonna break it to him. <laughs> I will hey. say whatever happens in that contract, you ask for what you want now, you know, before oh, you, yeah. you just you put it down there. Um, we, we definitely should say something about when when uh, whatever piece or whenever something happened, we, we get the ship. We, we Maybe we can earn our ownership for it, for the Sinclair. Don't know. <clears throat> yeah, and then we get to choose who we hire. Mm -hmm. so. so that way we can hire our own, you know, like we can hire... You know, we can hire somebody that we feel comfortable with to work on our ship. They're they're definitely going to give you like a roster to pick from uh, of the OPA Navy uh, recruits. So you'll you'll have like you'll be able to interview and not just grab. They're not going to yep. assign any people. Like you'll have and you, you've done this kind of stuff as a quartermaster in the past, like, like going over right. like uh, service records and such like that too. But unfortunately, these guys don't really have service records at this point. It's more of just kind of like what they put on their application and a background check. Uh, well, be, I want to see Zenny interview them. It'll be good. Yeah. yeah. It's just like... HR, there he is. Yeah. yeah. Um, all right. So it feels a little, yeah, it does feel a little weird. Uh, kind of giving up a little bit of freedom, but you have something now. You definitely have something. Um, 
Bertle, you suspect this is going to take a bunch of paperwork and a bunch of stuff to go over. Uh, being the captain of in the, in the Navy, you get access to a lot of privileged information. I'll probably be debriefed for a few days, honestly, yeah. um, once the paperwork signed. So you'll probably be out like commission for a little bit. So this is probably even the last time that you're going to be able to hang out with this whole crew here uh, for a bit. So do you want to gift anything? Like uh, invite them out? And Samela is like, when you tell Samela this, she's like, if this is going through, if you guys are cool with this, take them out for celebration. Like spend some money on this. We're, we're, we'll be great. Like the business will be in the black for years. All right. Well, um, so I'll, I'll just ping her back and she's like, hey, make us a reservation wherever you want. Hey, Cap. Yeah, yeah. This is going to eventually get back to your dad. I was just thinking that. <laughs> <laughs> is that a good thing? So was this know, do you know, yeah, you know, do you know who her dad is? Mm -hmm. okay, yeah, we, I think we that was yeah, we, when we, we had, had like a heart to heart or something like that. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, Admiral Warren Cooper. Oh, the mm -hmm. retired Admiral. What, what will the tabloids say? Oh, they'll, <laughs> they'll say juicy. a lot. Uh, I might not title. have such great privileges on Luna anymore. <laughs> <laughs> but that's okay. You know, they're not my family. I mean, my dad my, is my family family, but. You know, Luna, Earth, those aren't my family. That's just where I was born. Um, you guys head out. Uh, do you want to go to one of your regular haunts, the loudspeaker? Yeah. Uh, no, we'll, no. Yeah, yeah, yeah. No, we're gonna have a nice dinner first, and then we'll uh, we'll do a party later. Do you want after that? Okay. Do you want to call in? Uh, do you want at the party? Do you want the uh, other crew members to show up to break them the news, or yeah? All right, so you guys go out to a fancy dinner. Um, you head out to um, a place called uh, The Books Down. Um, it's a pretty fancy restaurant, a little high end. Um, place where dignitaries kind of come and eat that too. It is not cheap. It is, might want to clean up a little bit for all this. Um, it's kind of one of those places, Danny, you always like knew about, but like you're like, that's for rich folks or whatever it is. They come in there and do mm -hmm. that. But you're actually yeah, we, got, we got supplies if we want to look, uh, you know. I've got nice clothes. <laughs> yeah, I'll put on my nice clothes. We know if the crew doesn't have anything, we'll we'll make sure that they have some. And then we'll just like put on our regular clothes for party time. So uh, did you guys want to talk about the dinner at all or like have any kind of conversation about dinner? I think Wyatt's going to be pretty quiet for a little while. Well, taken. Yeah. Enjoy it, but kind of run it through his head quite a bit. It's like the, um, fight, the storm, the big change, or whatever. Well, why don't we, uh, you know, just kind of get what you need to get, and then just meet at our place, and then we can head to dinner together, and then I can have some time to talk to Samilla, make sure that we're all on the same page. Danny, you see an opportunity. You were trying to talk to Jackrabbit before they rapidly aggress the Sinclair. Uh, you see a moment to kind of follow up before, like, after you mentioned the, the bowels of the ship, they kind of like, they, oh, oh, they freaked out. They let I have to get going and they went, they left abruptly. Um, kind of see a moment here where you kind of see Jackrabbit kind of like hearing everything out and uh, everyone's kind of branching off to go their own separate ways. Uh, and you're out like in the, uh, the docks where you've spent much of your time working for the last, you know, few years. Um, pretty comfortable place, and Jack Roberts is kind of standing there getting ready to go to this mm -hmm. dinner. Um, so, uh, so what do you think you, uh, you're you going to be doing next, Jack Rabbit? Or yeah, Anson Dalion? I know. What a dumb team, right? <laughs> what what a kind of say that. But you feel a little bit of like pet in the thing. I don't, you know, I don't know what we're doing next. Uh, I don't know. What do you. I just, I can't, th this kind of I mean, you're flying, thing. you're flying, you're flying some sort of fancy ship to go and get a bigger fancy ship. But like, you know. Yeah, but, but then, then, then I kind of like the small ships, you know, like yeah. I like the first ship I ever flew. Uh, it was called the Gremlin. And it, I mean, it was just big enough to fit me. And uh, this is my favorite ship, though, the one you on. What are you well, thinking it, about? Well, that, that's the thing. You say that. If it's your favorite ship, then why? Why? You, I mean, you left so fast. I mean, I saw I saw how you looked when we went down in the... When we tried to go down in the the, uh, the engine bay. 
a lot of memories in that that place, you know? It just is a little too much. Like everywhere you go, there are ghosts. I don't I just The ghosts of the people people you lost? There's a lot of loss, you know. I I had all the people I all the people I know, they all die. Sometimes you know, Myrtle, Wyatt, I never thought I'd get attached. I thought Hootie in us, you know, Hootie's in us, whatever, who, who the hell cares, you know, and then every time, every time he gets shot, I keep telling him not to do that, you know, and I, I just, every time he gets shot and I, I mean, there was this other stuff too that happened, but I just, I didn't want to be part of that. I don't want to have to, I don't have to want to watch that again. Um, John, correct me if I'm wrong. They made a memorial for Onyx, right? Yeah, there's like a plaque in that in that room saying like, uh, you know, Onyx Mundos, uh, you know, uh, and, you know. Uh, well, like, did they make one? But did they make one like on like like on? Um... Oh, there's one. On, there's one on series. Yeah, there's one on series. Yeah. Yeah, you know about uh, him. Okay, okay. Yeah, that's what that was what I was wondering. Um Did you know that there's a there's a they made a uh, a little a little space for Onyx here on the station? Nah. Have you, you, you wanna go see it? Yeah, okay. I'll take I'll take her to go see it. Question about that? You want to grab some beers on the way there? Yeah. Okay. Oh, yeah. 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 Got, yeah, yeah. That's beers. just a given. Or burritos. Or burritos. <laughs> or burritos. No, I'm just kidding. <laughs> uh, but yeah, you you grab a pair of beers and you guys each have a beer and you go down and you come to. Oh, us. I grab like a six pack. Oh, like, a six pack. I, yeah, 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 yeah. yeah. I I I also text Drax and I say maybe tomorrow we'll we'll go out. <laughs> it's like, and he's like, yeah, I got the invite from the captain. I'll see you there. Uh, and, and, uh, cool. But uh, you grab a, a bulb, uh, a pack of beers, and they're actually like it looks like um, it's kind of like uh, hanging garlic bulbs off the thing. Oh, I love this! Yeah. I love that. Versus, Great. Like, yeah, cool. yeah. I Plus, grab my bandolier of beers. Bandolier of beers. <laughs> yes. Okay, there it is. Um, and then uh, you guys going down, and you remember the square jackrabbit? You remember running down here with your uh, Barata Onyx and like disarming a bomb and saving a ton of people? You remember uh, hanging out with Hank Haddix? And watching this guy belt out like this huge thing, and people be like, "Oh, that's Hank. We love Hank." Like it was a really good moment for your crew, and you thought you were gonna lose Onyx at that moment, but all he lost was like you know, a pair of fingers. Um, <laughs> yeah. And you come in and you see this before you even get into the, the thing proper. You can see staying above it this kind of holographic, kind of rotating thing, and it's actually one of his sculptures that he made on Luna. One of the sculptures he was working on. It's like a it's like a holographic replication of it. And then, like, next to it is, like, a bronze plaque saying, like, Onyx Munos, uh, you know, saved, like, several belters from, you know, saved belters from bomb, a bomb here in the square, you know, on this date or whatever it was. But there's no pictures of him. It's just, um, it's just the sculpture that he made kind of sitting there rotating. And it's not like, I'm not gonna tell you, like, it's, like, pristine looking, but, I mean, it's, it's, a, it's a, you know, it's, it's down in the station. I'll, uh, I'll hand, uh, I'll hand Jack but like, one of these, one of these bulbs, and take one. Just kind of look at it. Imagine it's like um one of those deals where there's like a long silence, right? Of like just sort of drinking and then kind of watching that thing go around. At one point, she'd probably start laughing, you know, and she'd say, "You know, when he blow up his hand, did you ever watch the video that they got of him? <laughs> you did you ever the, see it? You saw the footage. Oh, it was all over the feeds that that that, that month." It's a, it's a hard to miss, yeah. Yeah. You know what I miss about Onyx and what I like about a guy like that? You're not a lot of belted like that, you know? Like, belters who, like... I never met anyone who just want to make things, you know? He didn't even... Half the time, they weren't even nice things. He thought they were good, you know? Uh, <laughs> but, uh... I never met anyone who wanted something that was just, just to want it, you know, no, no reason, just to make something. Every everywhere the belt I know they, they scratching by, just trying to trying to make a living, trying to make a life, get get real hard. That guy, I don't know, he made it something else. 
Yeah. Thanks for showing me this. As he would have liked it. I mean, I I think he maybe he would have thought it was funny to see see it up <laughs> there like that, like I do. But I think he would have liked it. Yeah. Yeah. Well, maybe maybe uh maybe you remember this instead of whatever happened on the ship. You know, you remember the good parts, and you don't ignore the bad. But you know, maybe make it a second thought instead of the first one. You know. People, people, when they, yeah. I, mean, I mean, people, when they, when they leave, you know, when they, you know, they move on or they, you know, you, you move on to other things or, you know, it, if you don't see them, all that's left is what you remember, you know, and everyone back at the, back in the crew, you know, Wyatt, Myrtle, even, even Waxer a little bit, they remember you. They remember the good parts about you. And sure they don't they don't ignore the parts that are that are hard, that are sad. But can I can I just say something? You know, I don't really get it. Like, I mean I stole from them. I don't even know if they even told you that. Like, I mean I took a warhead off of the ship. They trusted me. You know, like I just I took from them and I and I thought I take from them and they cut me off. You know, we make it real good and easy. And when I call to say goodbye, like Myrtle, she she say, you always got a place here, you know? And then I, I show up and she just hugged me like it's nothing, you know? Like who, who, what kind of people are these that, that you're running with? I, t- <laughs> I, I don't know. <laughs> I don't know who these, I don't know who these in is are, but you know. They're, they're special, you know. The captain, she keeps saying, you know, we're family, and I, I don't have the best family. I mean, you know, apparently you know more about my family than most people do, but it, it's nice to feel wanted for more than what you can bring. You know? Yeah. So, I mean, we're kind of like adopted siblings now, you and me, with this ship. So... You know, once you're done flying your little ship to go get a big ship, maybe you come back to this ship. Maybe we get to know each other better. Only you know. if you keep this ship in one piece, you know. I can't. You gotta. You gotta make sure it get through this. Listen, I gotta. I gotta make sure they don't just drop another coal. Did they tell you about that? Wait, wait, oh. what? <laughs> That's what I was gonna. Sh- that's what I was gonna show you. And I pull out. <laughs> I pull out. <laughs> I pull out my uh, my little. Uh, hand, my yeah. handheld pad, yeah, and, and I uh, flip through and try to find find the, all the specs and everything. I was like, yeah, uh, when we were leaving, uh, we left. Uh, it was Tycho, right? Yeah. When we, when we were leaving Tycho, um, yeah. Our, uh, I'm really excited ship, to describe this footage ship, that you're going to show her. The ship <laughs> almost exploded. The ship almost exploded. Um, but uh, I'll I'll she, show her I'll show her yeah. everything. <laughs> yeah, it's like every so it's like in the engine room and it's a reactor and you see like a few of the belchers you saw on the ship like freaking the fuck out like trying to do stuff and fix stuff and they're like screaming at each other and then the woman gets on the comm and all of a sudden like Wyatt Zenny Waxer come in and they're like freaking out trying to figure stuff out and then like they all start grabbing tools and they they like you see like a. Uh, uh, why it put in this like a code to basically eject the core, like to throw it out the what? back of the ship. What is Koya doing? And then like you see them, and you see it kind of like like it's gonna eject, like the explosive bolts are gonna shoot it out, and like it gets stuck. And you can see because like all the, the additional aftermarket parts, the parts that make it fast, uh, <laughs> get get stuck on those. And you see like wax are like like taking a bar and like beating the shit out of this thing, <laughs> trying to rip the parts off. And they're like. Like, I mean, they're frantic about it. And then you see it come out and you can see like, like the gap, like the, like they get exposed to hard vacuum for like half a second. And then like, uh, they're all freaking out and shit. And they threw the, the fucking thing that drives the damn ship out the back of the ship. <laughs> mm-hmm. And you're, it, it's like the, it's like the most like Belter core shit you've ever seen in your life. You're like, what the holy shit? They survived that? <laughs> <laughs> Can I keep yeah, so this? The... I mean, this is kind of fun and watch. Like, look at I mean, look at Wyatt like, right yeah, here. Yeah, yeah. I mean, it's so funny. It's fun to have a good yeah, forward backwards I mean, too, because then sometimes you see yeah. it pop back in. Like, <laughs> yeah, like, uh, yeah. I'll, I'll, I mean, I'll send it to her. Um, but that's, uh, that's. I mean, that's. 
that's kind of what I wanted to talk to talk to you about. Um, I mean, I don't know, I don't know what your background is. I don't know what you what you what you know, but there, someone put something on the ship, inside the ship, like a, a code or something that made the made the core just. I don't know. Stop. Made it. Made it want to just blow us up. And it was something, somewhat, somewhat on Tycho, because that was the last place that we was at. And like, I'll, I'll show, I won't send it to you, but I'll show you like this giant thing of whatever this like code stuff, the, the stuff that the, the, the a, doctor sent there's back. A report, yeah. yeah, there's like a formal report going through and trying to diagnose this. And basically it says that like, they don't really understand what caused this but something was trying to like overload the core. And the only reason why it didn't explode or turn them into like, into like, you know, basically gas uh, in, a matter, in a matter of less than a second was that the AI kept on trying to compensate and it was able to recompensate it, but it couldn't keep up. Yeah, it's literally, we shouldn't, it sh it sh we should they not, we should not have said about that. The, and, okay. and, and, and you take this kind of real quick, uh, Jackrabbit as like, there's this old kind of saying you take care. You take care of her. She takes care of you, regarding the ship. And this was the ship taking care of them. Yeah. I would probably say that phrase in Belter, okay. right? Like the You've heard like it I'd before. probably say it in Belter, uh, mm -hmm. that kind of phrase. Uh, you know, you ask why I left. This is the other reason, man. <laughs> this this kind of stuff happened all the time. It's almost like there's somebody out there who just keeps like. Throwing things in the in the way just on purpose just to, <laughs> to fuck with us, you know what I mean? But uh, I don't because I know who who it is. It might be a person who looks like this. A hundred percent, hundred percent. Yeah. Do you? I don't. Maybe I can look around and see what I can find out. Yeah, that would be that would be good. Um. Oh, uh, but while you're um. While you're out there doing your your big important uh, OPA Navy stuff, um, if you happen if you happen to see a kid, um, his name's Yan. Um, if you if you could just keep an eye on him, um, I mean he's what he's he's with the Naros right now, but he's a uh, I'm just uh, I'm 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 worried about him. He's uh, he's my he's my brother. He's my little brother. What are you doing uh, with the Naros, man? That, that, I, I that's wish I no knew. good. I know. I, I know. I keep an eye out. If I hear where Naros sees, I, I let you know. I appreciate man. that. I try not to go near him myself. He he kind of crazy. That guy. Yeah, he's a. Uh, Yain's in deep. I think. Um, I think he's stuck. And I'm just trying to get him out. You know. Well, I, I tell you, I know these I know these people you fly with. They do what they can. They do crazy things. They don't really care about themselves. So, <laughs> I'm sure they I'm sure they also help. And I, I see what I can do. Yeah, I, I all that to say, I'm sorry for getting um getting all up on you about OPA stuff. It's, uh, it's no, just, no, no. It's hard, you know. I just. I mean, I get it. I, I kind of feel that way sometimes too. And uh, hey, man, you you in it too? When you say I do a big OPA stuff, that's you now too, huh? Yeah, I guess that's me now too. But. And I think like one of the last things would be like a kind of as as uh, as things are kind of quieting down, it just would be a um, little bit of a like. I'm glad they found you on this ship, man. They, I, I don't. I don't know. At first, I was about to go look up everything else I could find out about you. Like, who, who the heck is... <laughs> Best you know, of luck but, on that. <laughs> uh, but, uh, yeah. It's it's nice to know that there's someone else in there that maybe doesn't... I think sometimes they can get kind of... Ro you know, everything looks roses. They don't understand the belt belt louder kind of way. Yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Well, best of luck to you, Jackrabbit. I mean, we should probably get going. To the... hey. I mean, with <laughs> I look down at like the like empty the six empty bulbs we have. Yeah, we should probably. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> Y'all show for dinner. 
coming into the place, hanging out. Um, Denny and uh, Jackrabbit both coming a little, not not sloshed, but they've been drinking a little bit. You can tell, you know, they, you know, they they kind of just a little turnt. Yeah, they're, no, they're getting ready for dinner. <laughs> they're they're making sure their stomachs are playing ready for this. Uh, you get served up a nice meal. Uh, they kind of have like that grown uh, steaks here type stuff going on. It's pretty nice. Um, something like not like com- it's synthetic, but it's not completely synthetic. In a sense. Um, you eat up nicely. Uh, Bill comes and such. Um, do uh, anything you guys want to bring up during dinner? Or, and it's a nice place, like Jack or Robert. I mean, like if this is what like the OP. If this is what people like Anderson Dawes are bringing to you, kind of place you never thought you'd be in. It. So um, yeah, and um, let's talk about our meetings today and how things are going, and then just kind of you know explain to everybody without going into too much of all the things we talked about, but just being straightforward. Of, is this, real quick, is this the dinner or is this the crew party? The dinner. Okay, just make sure you talk so to just, 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 yeah, okay, just like, hey, I want you guys to think about this. This is a conversation we had today and this is what it means for you. Kind okay. of thing while we're having dinner. Um, what it comes out to is all like Zenny, Wyatt, and uh, Onyx is that you guys are all going to make money. Uh, Onyx, it's a lot. It's a pretty steady. Pay- it's a steady paycheck. Something you, you mean, never- Waxer? Or Waxer? Waxer. Sorry. Oh, Waxer. Oh, 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 we all wanted to be back. It's, that's why. It's, it's freaking builders yeah. all look the same. Um, <laughs> but, uh, uh, but yeah, you um, uh, yeah, it, it kind of sets up Waxer that like it's a steady paycheck, something you haven't really had before like this. And I mean, it's a good paying job with benefits and stuff like that too. Um, it also has a lot of resources. Which, um, and uh, same thing with Wyatt. You would be you get a, a officer's kind of pay grade. Then he, it's once again a steady paycheck. Uh, looking over some of these preliminary numbers and to come in at a higher rank, uh, being kind of quote unquote senior um, crew. Territory, yeah. This is gonna be a change. We're gonna do this proper, yeah. <clears throat> I'm feeling good about it. So yeah, if any of you guys, you know, decide that. Uh, it's too much for you and you'd like to find something else that's totally cool we'll pay you out for work you've done um but just know that you've got a space here with us to keep working you want to keep working yeah i got nothing else so it's like see how our you know so mcmichaels Drax, everybody yeah, when they see how much they're going to get paid and the benefits, I think it might. Uh, yeah, they might. Maybe they'll shape up to better better soldiers than they are crew members right now. <laughs> well, they might be hungry for it too, so that might be a good thing. This night you eat well. Uh, it's a, it's an excellent meal, uh, well seasoned. Uh, it's like for those of your belters like and are used to eating nibble. This is like a whole new kind of. Um, like flavor area, it's almost overwhelming at points. Um, yeah, and the textures and like uh, it's kind of weird at points. It feels kind of chewy, where you're used to more like the kibble type stuff. Um, and uh, but you know you, you eat it because it's a thing to do. But, like you don't want to be a bad guest. Um, advancing to the party, you guys show up to the loudspeaker and the crew's already there. Hey, what's going on, Captain? And they're all stoked and they're like, "So how's it going, man? We heard you, you know McMichael's there. He's like, I heard you guys met with Dawes." Yeah, yeah, we we did. And, All right, we, uh, got, we got a new job. What's going on? Yeah, so, um, so we got a few changes that are going to happen, and I just kind of lay it out. Um, but I just want to let you know, it's like if you don't feel comfortable doing this, that's fine. But we'd still love to have you because we like you guys working for us. We're still going to go out and do jobs. You know, we're going to go out and make money. We're going to go out and help people. Um, we're all just gonna also do some Navy things every once in a while. Big Michaels raises his hand and says, uh, clarify Navy things. Oh, just like, um, there's a thing happening and just like do an escort duty. Yeah, you're joining the, you're joining the OPA Navy, McMichaels, Ensign McMichaels, and I slap and, and, him on the back. Yeah, McMichaels goes <laughs> like, like he's like, he, he gets kind of serious for a second, he kind of sobers up and he's like, um... What is the OPA Navy? 
We'll let you know when we know more. Yeah, you, yeah. You just be doing the same thing. You get a better pay. And benefits. They're all kind of looking at each other. Like, like a few of them are kind of like, "Whoa, this is like, okay, there's a lot to take in." They're a little, right. they're a little nervous to take, and they want a clarity. Uh, do you want to encourage them to party, or do you want to like to like go and actually research this thing? Uh, I think it'd be better for them to a little of both. A little bit of both. Okay. <laughs> all right. Yeah. So you guys, you guys deliver the news with with a nice little little bit of alcohol. Um, you start going through all this and everything, and um, uh, Denny and uh, Ertl, you guys get a, a video message here on it simultaneously almost, and mm-hmm. it's from uh, Yakiv Butenko, oh. the, the oh. earth scientist you brought up, right? Yeah, yeah, and it's him kind of like walking, and he's got he's got his data pad, he's like. He's like, hey, he's like, hey, Sinclair, folks, hey, I just gotta say, like, um, I want to thank you so much. You know that advice you gave me about pursuing my dreams and trying to find like a a company to work with. Like, I did it. I made my, I got my own company. It's coming up, guys. Coming up. I got an investor. I talked to some of my dad's friends, and and I got someone. And we're gonna go out and we're gonna change the world. And I gotta thank you guys so much. And um. Look, I, you know, I, 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 I we're, we're getting ready to, to ship off. We got like uh, the guy I found, he had this ship ready to go. He's been building with my, some plans. My dad put a, my dad's company came with a while back, but we're getting ready to head out. And I, but I, but we're going to go silent for a while while I do work on this research project. But uh, I, I just got to thank you. I, I got to thank you so much. And, uh, and he's like, uh, yeah, yeah, um, yeah, I'm coming, I'm coming, I'm coming. And, and he kind of turns around. Myrtle, I need you to make a self, I need you to make a uh, willpower uh, self discipline test. Shit. 19. 19. Okay, you manage to hold it together and swallow your drink before you sp- instead of spitting it out. You don't want to look weak in front of the in front of the new troops. <laughs> um you uh then you're kinda of standing there and you're watching like Myrtle you know Myrtle pretty well and, and Myrtle's I don't want to say scared, but in, a little bit enraged, a little bit angry. Um, you, you, Myrtle, in the back, in the back of this, behind him, you see this man, and in, on his left arm, you can see he has, like, this cast, like, this huge, kind of, like, metallic, like, um, metal cast, like, it, like, I don't know how to describe it, it was, like, a piston over his arm, mm-hmm. um, like, keeping it kind of still, but nothing you've ever seen before, like, that doesn't make any sense, like, even <laughs> when they're regrowing, it's more of, like, a bag or something like that, this is, like, a, you can see through it, this is completely opaque, uh, metal, and he's wearing a nice suit that's fitted with, with that kind of in mind. And, uh, yeah, it's Sebastian Pope. Oh, snap. Mm. And, and Yakiv is like, he kind of, and you see, like, um, uh, Pope kind of smile at Yakiv, and Yakiv kind of smiles at him, and he goes, All right, well, I got to get going, guys. Thanks so much. And I, I'm going to follow my dreams. And then, like, the, the thing ends. Ugh. Okay. Do you um... want to show Jackrabbit? <laughs> I'm gonna look at Zenny. Okay. <laughs> Zenny, like it, it's this. I mean, it's Butenko, and he seems happy. Like he seems yeah. like he's doing his thing. But Wait. like I, I, I saw the reaction, and I'll like go over so that you know, because we're in the we're in the, the bar, yeah. the bar, and it's loud and everything yeah. like that. So I'll just come like closer so that we can hear each other. And, and I'll say, uh, Captain, what's bothering you? Um, I don't really want everybody to freak out while, you know, we've got this whole new life that we're building, but, uh, mm-hmm. we're going to have to have a discussion with the leads here. Um, we can wait uh-huh. till tomorrow, but, uh, I need to take a look at some stuff first to see if, um, I should be worried or not. All right. But uh, if you, uh, I don't know if you've ever heard anybody named Sebastian Pope. Uh, does any make a current of intelligence current affairs check? This is going to be a very difficult test for you. Uh, 17. I mean, he's some rich schmuck from Earth that has, that has a company. I mean, uh, the rich Earth there? And he had like a yacht that blew up a few years ago. What about him? Oh, 
uh, nothing. It's just, um, if maybe you have connections and, um, maybe felt like contacting some of them to see what they might know about his new endeavors, that would be great. But I'm still like, you know, look like I'm just drinking and having a nice time and partying. Make a communication but... performance test. Ooh. You are acting. I am acting. Or deception. Uh, four, seven, I mean, I don't believe nine, it like, at all. <laughs> no. So. 11, 12, uh, 12. All right. Yeah, Wyatt and Jackrabbit, you see, you guys know Myrtle. Waxer, you're, you, you kind of see it a little bit, but it looks like Myrtle's kind of seeing a ghost. She don't look right. Yeah. Don't yeah. look right. Like she's like, like shaking a little bit. I'm nudge Wyatt and him. just point. There's definitely something going on there. I'm gonna kind of like stop the video at a certain point where it's just got got Pope in the yeah, background you can there. Blow it up and everything as best you can now. Yeah. So I'm just gonna do that and then I'm gonna show it to Wyatt and Jackrabbit. Jackrabbit and Wyatt, you see this. You see an image of a man that you know that's responsible for a lot of shit uh, and that you thought was dead. Uh, and there he is. Uh, and why he's with the guy you guys had on your ship like a few weeks ago, like very, a very lovely young man named Yakib Batenko. Uh, <laughs> and uh, you can see Batenko like you see you see him behind you see um, Bastion Pope behind uh, Butenko, but then Butenko's like giving a thumbs up, like he's super happy about like everything. And it's not sarcastic, he's genuinely happy. Hmm. Make a self discipline <laughs> test. On <Like> both of you. <laughs> nice. I'm not the only one. <laughs> That's an eight. Uh oh. Uh oh. Uh -oh. Well, shit. Pick. What'd you get? What'd you get, Wyatt? Fifteen. Uh, yeah, Jackrabbit flips a table. Yeah, I was yeah. about to say I'd yeah. do something like that anyway. You flip a uh, table and, and start like, stomping on it and shit. I mean, like, uh, Zenny, you see Jackrabbit going like fucking like. Yeah. Okay. Hey, 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 hey. I'm gonna go over and try to make her stop. Hey, I'm just trying to do. I'm you? just what's trying it? to do something else, you know. And then this crew, it gotta pull me back in, man. It just gotta pull me back in. That's all I'm saying. That's all what the I'm hell saying. is up with like, all of you? I'll Who is this? What is this? this shit yeah. happens again. Who is he to you all? Yeah. Oh, if it got cap shaken too. Not looking. Cap, okay, cap. I just gesture towards Jackrabbit. Obviously, everybody knows something's up now. So, I mean, I just gotta know, Meta. When we gonna go? Well, I think we should uh, <laughs> uh, take care of the damages here. Uh, we'll let the McMichaels and the rest of the crew, we'll get them some more drinks, and then, um, yeah. Uh, yeah, we need to talk about this in the morning. Uh, Jackrabbit, I'd love to have you there. Because I think we got a, I think we got a problem. But I don't want to worry the kids. <laughs> <laughs> hey, Yakiv, you don't know what he's, yeah. what problem, yeah, he's in a mess there. Yeah. Right. So, uh, Waxer, Zenny, Wyatt, Jackrabbit, we we should probably um, have a discussion in the morning. Because and, and I think we all need to calm down and think about this. Uh, McMichael raises his hand and he goes, Hey, Cap, uh, still paying for the drinks, right? Yeah, yeah. Okay, Don't worry cool. about it, man. And I got gotcha. you. back to it. Um, <laughs> while like, the bar hand comes up to the mess. Um, you guys have a lot. Some of you might continue to drink drink through this kind of pain, this kind of anguish that's been presented to you in front of you. I messaged Crystal immediately and is like, hey, can you find out whatever you can about this Pope person? <laughs> and Crystal gets back to you, no problem. Um, you guys take a breather. Some of you retire. Maybe you guys go off. Uh, there is a gun range on the Sinclair. That's actually one thing you didn't notice, uh, Jackrabbit. There's a gun range on the Sinclair. Um, and uh, <laughs> or some of you guys go off to get in a fight. However you want to deal with something, you want to deal with pain. Waxer, you're not really sure what's going on. Zenny, you know something's upset them, but that's about it. Um, but uh, we'll pick it up next time with that. Uh, we have everyone real quick. Uh, we will have Jackrabbit back next week. Uh, so we have a we have there's a to be continued with that. Uh, it's a lot of fun. 
Um, thank you everyone for watching. Uh, we do have, uh, so once again, uh, if you want to enter the giveaway, uh, it is yeah. just type in the word podcast tonight and you will be entered to win um, one of our three prizes, which I'll go grab here in a second. And then uh, we have um, our pod, we're now available on a podcast, uh, podcast form, whatever your favorite app is, you can go and find it there. Um, everyone, uh, thank you for watching. Super cool. Uh, I'll let everyone get kind of entered in. Uh, and I think go ahead and put up. Um, oh, and you can support us on Patreon. I forgot to mention Patreon tonight too. Uh, <laughs> Sam, thank you for coming back. Yeah. Wait, yeah. This is so much fun. It's super fun, man. I miss I miss playing with all of you, oh, and I you miss brought... this world. It's so fun. Yeah, you brought back some memory episodes too. I was like thinking about all those old ones. It was crazy. <laughs> ah, you zipped me. Ah. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> All right, uh, I'm going to go ahead and do this in reverse order. So I'm going to start with the Stonehaven stuff tonight, um, yeah. which is going to be a set of three miniatures and a uh, set of dice and a uh, horrible dice tray, which will be sent out to you. Uh, let me go ahead and pull that one real quick. And Let's I hit roll it. Yeah, who's Let's the winner? Go. Come on. It is winner, our winner, friend, chicken dinner. Uh, Happy Capster. Yay! Yay! Uh, so very nice. cool. You uh, people always Great. like dice and such. I uh, next... needed a new dice tray for my desk that was smaller you than the one. You did drop some dice tray on the air, I think, once, and so this will this will yeah. prevent that. Okay, so this is a good yeah. this is an investment. Is <laughs> this is, is a good investment. Um, next <laughs> up, uh, we're going to give away the hundred dollar gift certificate to Calder and Tower. Uh, you can Happy spend it on whatever you want to. So let me go ahead and <laughs> including some of Michael's like really cool. Uh, yeah. by, by, uh, Michael here. So here goes our second one, which is gonna be let's go, let's go. Uh, Sam. Oh. <laughs> I'm a bunch of Michael shirts. Hey. Hey. Actually, my wife stole the one that I had. She's like, this okay. one's mine. I feel bad because I'm like, everyone on the show is winning. I'm not trying sorry, to set it up. Sorry, y'all. Um, sorry, y'all. No, sorry, this is a This is a reward for that good RP that yeah. Sam and I had and together. I so like... Up, we, have, we have the VIP to uh, Oracle Con. I should mention, too, if you did win something, you don't get qualified to win the bigger stuff. So Ooh. this is kind of fun I'll just have to Oracle. bribe Donna for to give me VIP. It's all John Will. <laughs> <laughs> all right, watch the intro real quick. No, um, but uh, all right, here we go. Last one is going to be the VIP to OrcaCon in uh, it's January 2023 up in uh, near Seattle. All right, here we go. The sixth through the eighth. Let's go. Right. Let's go. Boom! And it is right. Merrick the Mad. Nice. Hey, Merrick, Merrick Mad. let's go. Uh, very cool. So yeah, that'll be nice. Uh, we hope to see you there. I will send you. Uh, we'll get all the details for all the stuff and contact information for everyone for the various prizes and the like. Uh, I'll figure out how to contact Sam. Maria here because I've never had a, I've never had a speech on outside the game. They just show up. With, they, they, they got this like this Zoom address randomly one day and they started showing up and I was like, right, I guess we're gonna play. <laughs> yeah. Um, but thank you everyone for a great uh, evening of, of yeah. uh, Abrax Precipice. Our one year anniversary. We'll be back next week with uh, Sam as Jack Rabbit and uh, more stuff. All right, I will see you guys uh, next week. Later. Bye. Thanks everybody. Bye.